You can do a lot of custom things in Minecraft. And in this video, I have a world where everything is diamond ore. That includes the mountains, the caves, the trees, the, the whole lot. And there's even going to be some custom diamonds that give cool abilities and items. So my first task is to try and find some wood. Sadly, these trees aren't going to be very useful. Instead, I need a mineshaft or a village. Or maybe even a shipwreck. That would work too. I see what looks to be an acacia biome up ahead. And look at that. It does have a village. Which means two things that are very rare have been found. Dirt. Yes, we can get loads of dirt now if we want. We've also got food because we can get hay. Hope this village doesn't mind that I'm basically stealing all of their wheat. Let's also grab a bed and some wood as well. Whoever lives here isn't going to be very happy. What's in this chest? We got some bread. Very nice. We might as well grab paper because that's probably going to be a rare thing. And I currently have no cobblestone. Getting that's going to be a bit of a challenge, which means I can't make tools. So instead I'm going to have to improvise and Take this guy out the old fashioned way. I'm already tired of doing this with my fist. I've got a better idea. Crafting table, sticks, and then we can make an axe. This is much faster. And with this iron, I can make a pickaxe. Oh, and check this out. We can finally make use of these beautiful, beautiful diamonds. We're about to get the world record for the fastest time to get diamond armor. There we go. Look at that. Let's get suited up. And I can also make a bunch of tools to help me on my journey. You know what would be perfect? If this chest now had a bucket in it. It doesn't, but it's got a torch and some bread. It's also easier now to mine up the wood and dismantle this poor villager's house. And this is a useful thing to find, a blast furnace, because I can't really get cobblestone at the moment. Now I shall go in search of another village. Actually, if I can find a cave, then I can use that to get iron and not bother with the village. Look at that, day one is complete. What do we have here? I found a goat. You're the first animal I have seen in this entire world because nothing else can... Sp Wait, where did you just jump down to? Well, yeah, nothing else can spawn. I can grab this coal, though, when I can see it. I feel like I'm going to be sick of the sight of diamonds by the end of this. Finally, something that resembles a cave and we've got iron. This is going to be perfect for making buckets and a shield and, and whatever else you need iron for. Now, does this cave go deeper? No, it just seems to go upwards that way. So I'm going to make things interesting and just dig down. Although before that, I think what I should do is do some smelting and get myself a bucket <laughs> just in case I'd come to lava. Got my water. This has nearly all smelted. Let's keep digging down. I can hear water around me, which means there's a cave nearby. I'm going to dig in this direction and hope for the best. Oh, we found emeralds. Hey, that's pretty rare, actually. <laughs> if I make this guy blow up, look at that. Look at all the diamonds I get. And there's quite a few emeralds down here. And look at this. We've even got the tuff. I'm going to gather some of this up because it's actually quite useful blocks. And there's no point delaying. Let's build a portal. Where does this portal lead? Well, you're about to find out. Now, because there's no gravel in the world, it's very difficult for me to make some flint and steel. However, if I do something like this and then put my lava right there and then put wood on this side it should light whilst i wait for that let's grab some extra iron and this is deep slate coal would have been cool if all the diamonds down here became deep slate ones but <laughs> didn't get that far with making this and what do we have here it looks like an abandoned mine shaft which is an opportunity to get a brand new wood and some gold for the first time as well it's kind of crazy how rare emeralds are and yet you can get them so easily from villagers like what even is the point of going mining for emeralds now although i'm starting to think maybe they made them more common in the cave up there and look at this we even got some logs here they must be propping up the mine what on earth of all the blocks i did below lava. Might be able to get an ender pearl from this guy. He's stuck in a cobweb. Okay, he didn't get anything. So pretty good to know that emeralds are now way more common. The main thing I would have liked to find a mine shaft is a notch apple, but there was no sign of any chests. This is on fire, and look at this. It is going to lead us to the diamond dimension. But you didn't expect this. If you thought there were a load of diamonds before... Well, there's even more now. And I kind of feel like my portal could not have been in a worse place. But after doing a bit of micro lensing, it seems like most of the entities are in this direction. So I'm going to go this way and hopefully come to an opening. And I'm just going to grab a bit of extra obsidian so that I can easily leave if I need to. I'm going to make myself a boat. I'm going to carefully glide down here. I see a bit of lava and I was hopeful that would lead to somewhere, but it's... Bit of a dead end. So I'll just keep strip mining. And look at this. Finally, we have come to the end. If I just build around here now, I've got to make sure I don't do anything stupid. Jumping in the lava is the kind of thing I do. And now I have to explore whilst being very careful. And it does bring a bit of a challenge being in a diamond only world because it means obtaining blocks is very, very tricky. Since everywhere I look, it's just diamonds. Since I'm out of blocks, we're going to have to start using diamond ones. I managed to find some bone blocks, which are probably worth grabbing. I've come to another dead end, so I'm just going to dig my way through. And to save time, I'm going to begin using trapdoors so that I can dive my, my way through. Okay. <laughs> I dive mined and went through one block and we already made it out. Not as much of a dead end as I thought. And look at this. It sticks out really well in the diamond area. We have got a fortress. And this is perfect. We're right by a blaze spawner and it's a double spawner. This will let me get a lot of blaze rods very, very fast. And I would have loved to make a shield, but I've used all my wood in building. So instead, I'm going to have to try and use skill. And now I have 10 blaze rods. That should be enough. I don't really know what else I want to find at this place. Although I suppose a saddle could be useful. I mean, we got a diamond. Yay. Nether wart is also quite rare since it doesn't spawn in these fortresses. Look at all this obsidian. We've got gold. 
and a flint and steel, which is very useful since it's tricky to get myself flint. And a saddle. <laughs> I think I'm ready to leave. I'm going to grab loads of these bricks, though, because blocks are very useful. And look what we have here. The entity counter led me straight to it. Can't beat a bit of micro lensing. Now, I have to be very careful about the piglin brute. There's some over there. There he is. He's, he's spotted me already. How am I going to block it? Oh, already he's, he's hitting me. Okay, <laughs> we better just run. So point taken. I need to be very careful of these guys. Thankfully, I can kind of just use this lava to get rid of it. I've got a bucket of lava. Let's just do that. Thankfully, this piglin doesn't care, so we can just go straight into the chest. Look at that. Loads of string, some food, some nice boots. This is an enchanted diamond pickaxe, but I don't see the point of it. It's got Curse of Vanishing. And look at this, a golden apple. And that's about it in that chest. Let's also pour lava on this guy right here if you stop moving about. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, you don't stand a chance against me. I may have accidentally poured lava down all of the corridors now. It's a little bit tricky to tell, but I'm pretty sure we're in housing. Actually, never mind. I just realized that it's bridge. So let's try and jump to here. I'm going to take way too much damage for that. That was a very risky move. Oh my goodness, okay. Don't die now, SP. That would be a very sad moment. Let's go up here. Start stealing the gold. Oh my goodness, I'm on half a heart. That is, that is very, very worrying indeed. I really need to start being more careful in these places. This next part is where things could really go wrong. Although, not that part. But when I jump my way up here, I have to be careful of any piglin brutes. There's quite a few piglins there. We can probably just get them all into this hole. There we go. That's plenty of piglins. Kind of want to see if there's anything hidden through here. There is a chest, which has a gold block. And look at that, a mending pickaxe. That's way better. Now I just need these guys to give me the good stuff. If I just come over here. We can also go to the lodestone chest and get a lodestone. I don't have enough wood to make a chest, but if I mine this up, I can place that here and start filling it up with junk. This has given me a lot of very useful items, including the ability to make an ender chest. So all the useful items I can now put into here without having to come back. And I can also make an anvil and combine this book with my boots, which is a nice little upgrade for them. I'm very happy with all the items I've got from that, but I'd like to be able to come back to this bastion if I ever need to, so I'm going to dig a bit of a tunnel, and then I can easily get back here. This tunnel has been absolutely massive. I think I'm going to stop it here. I, I kind of started going through here a bit more, but it was another dead end. I just thought, you know what? This is as good a place as any, I think, to set up a way to return home. So let's put the obsidian like this, light it up, and go back. And this is where we've ended up. It doesn't really mean much to me. It's a brand new place. I'm going to get rid of this tree, if you can call it that. Probably never going to find that place again. But I think it's time I went searching for more wood. And a shipwreck might be my best option. And we've got a shipwreck down there. What have we got in this chest? Moss blocks. Oh, they're actually brand new. I'm going to actually drown it. Hold on a second. No point getting excited over moss if you're not alive to see it. Nice little air pocket with this door. Let's start collecting the wood. The main reason I wanted wood was so I could make a boat. Can't really remember where I put my other one. And here we have an amethyst geode. Not massively useful, but I do want to grab these shards. And then later on, I can make a spyglass. Mission to find a village has been successful. But you know what mission hasn't been successful? My quest for 3 million subscribers. So please, please, if you enjoy this video, could you take the time to subscribe? Main reason I wanted to find this is so that I could get more food. And you know what? This seems like a nice village. It's a lovely flat location. I think I'm going to build my house here. Now, what should I build my house out of? Considering a world full of diamonds everywhere, there's only one block to use. Yes, we're building it out of dirt because in this world, dirt is more precious than diamonds. You know what? Gravel as well, because everybody loves gravel. This must be the only world that I could get away with building this monstrosity. If I truly want to make this work, I'm going to have to get serious and steal more dirt. Wow. Wow, wow, what a masterpiece. I would like to add some windows, but for that I'll need glass, and sand is extremely, extremely rare. So instead I've got a better idea, but it's going to require me to go mining. Don't know what it is, but it's so much harder to find caves in this world. So I'm giving up and I'm just going to dig down. Well, in digging down, I found something I was looking for, and it has led me to a cave. There's plenty of iron down here, which is perfect. And I've also uncovered some copper, so let's mine that. That's enough stuff for me, I'm going to swim out of here. Now I've got to try and remember my way home, since everywhere looks the same here. I'll tell you where it doesn't look the same though, guys this beautiful house. The next question is, what did I do with my blast furnace? I've no idea. I can only guess I put it in the ender chest. Yes, I did. Now that I've found that, we can smelt this raw iron. Now I'm going to take this iron and do that. And this is my replacement for the glass. Wow, I have really outdone myself this time. I'm basically building a dirt prison. The issue now is that the terrain is kind of messed up, so it's hovering over nothing. So I want to try and get silk touch. I could either do that by scamming some villagers or find one at an entity, which is probably going to be more fun. It would also be very useful if I could get some gunpowder on the way. Oh my goodness, I see animals. I didn't think they would spawn here. They're very close to the village, which is just somewhere over there. So I'm going to remember about these guys. So it looks like it's an evening of hunting creepers. Very useful to find endermen on the way as well. Hopefully these guys both drop pearls. As is always the case, <laughs> neither of them did. There's plenty of creepers over here. Now I've got 16 gunpowder and I've only got 15 paper. So I don't think I'm going to need any more. That's all the fire rockets I can make. Now are we heading into the waters? Oh, we're back this way. According to my calculations, it's somewhere around it. Yes, okay, it's in this junk. 
And now I can dig down with confidence. Look at that. We just got to level 50 and we're straight in the stronghold. The only sad thing about this is I only have eight eyes of ender. So it'd be great if I could find an ender. Well, we found one. Come on, make it two. Not quite, but more bread. Don't caves just look so amazing when there's diamonds everywhere? I hear silverfish, so I must be close to the portal room. Perfect, the bookcase room. That's going to get me even more paper. Sharpness three, that can go on my sword. And another sharpness three, and piercing four, and piercing four. Is that like the most popular thing or something? I'll grab a stack of books as well. Okay, I found it. <laughs> we found the room. I was just wandering around a corner to get this creeper, and we found it. Now then. We are going to need a few more ender pearls. I've got this one that I found, but I still need two more. Since I have found the portal room, it's probably a good idea just to staircase back up. I am collecting a lot of XP, so I'm just going to put these books together, and then I'm going to put it on my axe so I have a sharpness for axe. Very nice indeed. And it is now going dark, which makes it perfect to find endermen. Let's also make a little bit of a tower so I can find the way back down. This is usually a bad idea, but I'm just going to go and MLG my way down. Look at this, a ruined portal. Nothing too useful in there. Enderman number one has been spotted. No ender pearl, though. Oh my goodness, there's three over there. It really doesn't get more perfect than this. All right, let's see what this guy has to offer. All right, we got one. Now, hopefully this guy doesn't let me down. He didn't as well. Oh, well, that enderman is up there. Y you can just stay there. Might as well get a few extra creepers while I can. Now for the next phase of my plan, to head to the end, which of course is all completely diamond. Let's go ahead and get rid of these towers. And that right there, I think is the final tower. Hold on a second, I've got this tower to get rid of as well. And now I can get the job done. And this sharpness four axe is very, very powerful. A few more hits on him. Might be able to get him with my bow now. Or maybe not, I've used up all my arrows. It doesn't matter too much because he is perching and are you just here to ruin my day, sir? Not so tough now that you're stuck in a boat, are you? And there we go. The dragon has been defeated. And the best bit is all the beautiful XP. Okay, I didn't mean to go through the portal there. Because I slept in a bed and broke it, I have no home bed or charge respawn anchor, so I am... I'm all the way back at spawn. Just give me a bit of time, guys. I'll get back to the end. Managed to come across my house on the way back so I can drop off some stuff. The main thing I can drop off, I guess, is diamonds. I suppose I'll keep those blocks. Dropped off plenty of stuff. Now I can go traveling again. Here is the pillar that lets me know where the portal is. Let's head back to the end. Thank goodness all the XP is still here. This time I won't be stupid and walk into the portal. And for now, I'm going to leave the egg right there. And over here is the gateway. The gateway to the end city. And of course, it spawned me on a tiny little island in the middle of nowhere, which means already I'm going to have to do loads of bridging. And blocks aren't exactly something that I have a lot of. The smart thing to do would have just been to make a cobblestone generator. But you know me, I never do the smart thing. So instead, we're going to play a risky game and use ender pearls. Pretty sure if I ender pearl onto the side of that, it should just... Yep, drop me down to one heart. But hey, we made it onto mainland. And now to track down that end city. Is that what I think it is? Fading into view. An end city. And not only that, it has an end ship as well. And instead of build across, why don't I just end a pearl? So this is, of course, where all the good stuff is. But this is also the area where I have to be very, very careful. One wrong move and it could be curtains for me. Got my first shulker shell. Shulkers also now multiply if they get hit by another shulker, which is pretty good. Well, it's good for getting shulker shells. It's not good if you get overrun by millions of them. And why go up through the dangerous inside when I can just float up the outside? And here is my first loot. There's absolutely shulkers everywhere. Let's just go across here. Okay, I'm going to try and like... Can I box myself in a little bit? There we go. Okay, that, that'll do. Got another shulker shell. I can now make a shulker box. And look at this loot. Perfect. Curse of binding though. I, I, I'm not falling for that. This is also a great way to get some extra obsidian. Now let's keep searching upwards. This looks like another place with treasure again. Well, I was wrong. It's just a place with millions of shulkers. I think my next move should be to go to the end ship. This is where things can go wrong if I'm not careful. Come on. There we go. I I'm going to wait for these things to hit me. There we go. We've got one of those. I think we should be able to make it by floating over. It's going to be tight. There we go. We just about did. Now I just need to get rid of this guy. Get the beautiful elytra. And look at all the gold. Those are some nice leggings as well. These do have mending on them, but can I... Can I put them together? Oh no, it would keep the curse of van- Oh, it's curse of vanishing. Oh, that's fine because uh, let's be honest, I'm <laughs> I'm never going to die. Well, what I actually mean when I say that is if I do die, <laughs> I'm not going to be playing anymore. Since that's what happens when you play on a hardcore world. Now then, is there any more loot in this place? I'm starting to think the answer is no and I should search for another end city. Thankfully, it's going to be much, much easier now. Look at this, guys. Not one end city, but two end cities. I'm going to first head to the smaller one and see if there's any loot here. And the answer is no. <laughs> There's no loot whatsoever. Well, I'm glad I found two if that's the kind of service I get. Let's start with the end ship, since at least on here you're guaranteed to get some loot. More gold. Yeah, I'm probably going to leave all of that stuff and... <laughs> I'm about to get excited about diamonds. We, we do know what world we're in, don't we? A world where I've got more than enough diamonds. And finally, a silk touch pickaxe. That's the that's the entire reason I came here. Let's not forget the elytra. They're very nice. And see if there's any extra loot over here. I think this is the place. Yeah, the top of this place does have something. The old Shulker Tower of Nightmares. Let's see what these chests have to offer. Finally, a diamond shovel. And wow, this is some chest. A looting three sharpness four sword. Okay, see you later, old sword. We don't need you. 
We don't need Smite and Sweep. Well, we can take the Sweeping Edge, actually. Yeah, if I go like that, we get Sweeping Edge 3 on it as well. That's a nice little upgrade. And I believe that that's all this place has to offer. And I've got the loot that I wanted. I think it's time I headed home. I've managed to find an end gateway, but also an end city over here. Might as well grab any loot that I come from here. And it has to be said, there is a few nice things here. If I put those together, my leggings are nearly maxed. And it's a nice little upgrade to my helmet. Let's grab another pair of Elytra. And I keep forgetting to do this, but I want to bring home the Dragon Head. And there's got to be some more loot to be had here. Two chests waiting for me. Oh my goodness, look at that for a helmet. That's that's way better than my current one. And this would be amazing if it didn't have Curse of Binding on it. I'm not going to be interested in that. And this is the final chest that I can find at this place. And maybe the boots are useful. Depth Strider, I'll take that. Well, I've got everything I need. Let's go to the gateway. Nice and steady. In we go. And before I leave, of course, it would be a nice idea to grab the egg. Place a torch there. Mine that up. Perfect. And pick it up. And this is probably going to take me to spawn. This time, it's not a massive issue since I can fly. I've just seen this pool of lava on my way. So I'm going to grab a bucket. And that way, when I get back home, I can make a cobblestone generator. There it is. Beautiful. Can you believe I just did all of that for a silk touch pickaxe? But hey, it was totally worth it. Now I can properly terraform the land. And with this shovel, I can get dirt much faster. I don't want to ruin this village too much, so I'm going to fly away and find another one to ransack. What do we got in this chest? More obsidian, kind of useful. And look at this. Apparently we're in a desert right now, which is fine, but it does mean that I can't steal any dirt. I can, however, steal plenty of hay bales. This is much better. A village containing the precious dirt. Oh man, these flowers, these are rare. I'll tell you what, you don't see many flowers in the world. I'll tell you what else you don't see much of. Sugar cane. It would be amazing if I could get some of that. What do we have here? It seems to be a desert temple. Look at this. <laughs> All sorts of blocks now. It's just got one blue terracotta. The good thing about finding this is I can get TNT, which is pretty hard to get. And sand as well. That's also pretty rare. I'll be honest, I'm a little bit lost, but I have found this ruin with a beautiful gold block. Mission to find my house has been successful. And this leaves me with enough dirt to complete the project. And the next thing I need to finish my house is gravel, which I'm probably best trading with piglins. And we found a pretty good place for it. Although I did leave my chest plate at home, which is going to make life a bit harder. Some nice iron, food, another golden apple. I'm not going to take anything else from here. A little bit of extra gold, thank you. Deal with these guys, no trouble at all. And look at this, my first ancient debris. I'm going to distract all these guys because they're probably going to get angry when I open this chest. Yeah, there we go, perfect. I'm going to take the spectral arrows as well. Fire resistance seems to be way more common now, but it's the gravel that I want. So I'm going to loot this one the only way I know how. That is digging down here and quickly placing a block over my head. Yeah, that guy was coming for me. And none of the piglins are getting angry at me at the moment. I'm guessing none of them are nearby enough. I never thought I'd be going to a bastion with the goal of collecting gravel. The only chest I can find is this one right here, but I can't, can't really reach it now. Now this guy's in the way. You get out of here. Anything decent in here? Not really. Okay, these guys, <laughs> they look a little bit angry now. Another gold block here, and there's a chest over there with more ancient debris. There's a few more gold blocks to be had up here, and now I'm going to try and find another bastion that's going to be easier to trade at. Another brand new bastion? And I've somehow got to the point where I have zero space in my inventory. Probably don't need two elytra, I'm going to combine them together. Now let's get mining. Up here will be the perfect place to trade, and I have much gold to give them. Look at that, a netherite scrap. Look at this for a chest, so much good stuff. And another piece of ancient debris, we can get a netherite ingot now. Finally, I can end those days of peasant diamond and begin the journey to full netherite armor. Should have all the gravel I need now. This is a pretty good time to leave. And here it is, my way back home. All that way for a bit of gravel, but hey, it was definitely worth it. I hope you're all taking notes, you people that think that you're good builders, because wow, what a house this is. Go on, just tell me that this isn't the greatest thing you've ever seen, because it is, without a doubt, the best build I've ever done. It's beautiful. It's everything that the dirt deserves to be. But it's not quite finished. There's work to be done. Such as diamond blocks around the outside. Apparently two creepers have already moved into my house. Maybe I should just leave it as a prison and keep them in there. Oh my goodness, there's three of them? Are you kidding me? This is my house. You can't live there. And the final plan is to have black stone in the middle. I'd love to make this floor lava with glass on top, but it's going to take quite a lot of sand. So far I've got 16. I need 69 in total, so I'm going to go searching for more desert temples. Look at this. A shipwreck out of water. This will be very useful useful because I do need to get more paper. And the buried treasure will be a nice bonus. According to the map, it should be right here. There we go. Perfect. We've got some iron and some TNT. Not going to bother with the diamonds for obvious reasons. And what do we have in this shipwreck down here? More iron and some emeralds and another treasure map, which apparently leads to the exact same place. You can't get much of a bigger scam than that. Now here we have a golden rabbit, which means we're in a desert, which is just the place for finding sand. I can see sandstone, which looks to me like a desert pyramid. They always seem to be submerged to these, don't they? I'm just going to dig straight okay i'm glad i didn't land that mlg this time i'm just gonna gracefully fly down more sand which gets me to 28 pieces but not quite enough free tnt at the same time though and there's another one right here which had no sand well this isn't good news 
My elytra broke. Looks like it's time for the old fashioned boat. And speaking of boats, I've spotted a shipwreck. Although there wasn't anything particularly useful on it. And I've just realised I'm an idiot and that I can actually trade glass from villagers. Well that's the end of the sand adventure. I know I've always said that diamonds are for peasants. But when you have elytra that don't work, I feel like walking is for peasants. This is a new one, a tiger village. This place gives me access to new wood. And if I can find some chests, even some new saplings. I found some potatoes. This can only mean one thing. I'm gonna take a leaf out of Technoblade's book and build a giant potato farm. You see, the thing is guys, I want more villagers. And to get more villagers, you might need to give them potatoes, carrots, or bread. And so potatoes are gonna be my personal choice of food for them. But before I do any of that, I've just gotta get a mending book because I'm not living my life without Elytra. Don't know why, but to me a lodestone is the perfect holder for the dragon egg. You good sir are gonna be the man that gets me mending. And to be honest, that was relatively quick. We have the mending book. I need more emeralds though, oh my goodness. Hopefully I have some spare ones in this chest, or maybe this chest, or maybe this chest. Okay, we've got eight, we need 10 more. I think it's time for Operation Scammer Farmer. This right here shall be the farmer that I scam. If I turn all of this into hay, okay, we've got a lot. No, don't steal it. Oh no, they're gonna pick it up. Um, <laughs> oh well, we got what we needed. Let's buy the mending book. Thankfully the hay bales themselves didn't get picked up. And these guys are never escaping. Let's put these elytra together and then put mending on it. And now if I start digging diamonds, I will collect XP and my elytra will get back to full health. Need to break a few more diamonds first. Since I've now got mending, I think I'm gonna get unbreaking as well. And this is where the great potato farm is gonna be built. The reason I'm doing this instead of trading is because I have to wait till tomorrow for the villagers to update their jobs. And there we have it, the unbreaking trade, but I need 29 emeralds. Try selling more wheat to this guy. And if I needed wheat, well, there's loads here. One of the hardest achievements to get that, a seedy place. Spent so long trying to get the emeralds for this guy, that he changed his trade. Hopefully this next time, it's gonna be a bit cheaper. This guy has just offered me prop four, which is pretty rare to get. So I'm gonna buy a few of those and fully upgrade my armor. I should probably make a start on growing some of these potatoes as well. You'd better not get in my way. No point tilling everything just yet since I only have 12 potatoes. Let's give this guy some more gold and add protection four to this helmet. Then add protection four to this chest plate. Can't do too much more till I get more potatoes and more villagers. So I'm instead gonna try and find something very difficult. And that is gonna be ancient debris. Cause let's be honest, diamonds for peasants, I can only last so long with it. This is something that's going to be way, way more challenging than a normal world. But I still want to test something out. If I go like that, it doesn't really blow up a big enough area for it to be worth it, does it? I think I'm just going to strip mine and hope for the best. One of the good things about this is because I get XP every time I break a block, my pickaxe keeps mending and will never break. I'm also going to do a bit of blasting with this TNT. Doesn't uncover too much, but it's a little bit better. Over 10 TNT used, and still no ancient debris. I knew getting ancient debris was going to be tough, but I didn't think it was going to be this hard. Oh my goodness, we, we got some. Okay, <laughs> I was beginning to lose all hope. And then we found some ancient debris. And now the last piece of TNT. So two pieces of ancient debris for 30 TNT. <laughs> this could take a while. Finally, I found some. I've been losing the will to live here big time. How many pieces is it? Okay, just one, but one's better than none. I dug this massive strip mine, and I've just been digging off all these branches to see if I can find an extra piece of ancient debris. Three pieces down, many more to go. Okay, we've managed to find another piece of ancient debris. And it's actually at least two pieces, maybe even a third. Okay, never mind, it was only two. Another piece has been found, perfect. Sadly, this time it was only one. Finally, we've got another piece. And it turns out it's two pieces. That gives me eight in total. Which for now is going to be enough for me. Now I've just got to walk a million miles through these tunnels to get back to the beginning. Finally, I'm back at the staircase. And here we are, home sweet home. Let's start smelting this ancient debris. The millions of diamond blocks I now have can also go here. Two more netherite ingots can be crafted. And now I can make a netherite helmet. And I'm also going to make a netherite pickaxe. My next issue is that I am completely out of food. So I'm going to grow a few more potatoes. Craft a furnace from blackstone. And it looks like I'm going to be living off baked potatoes. And whilst I wait for the potato farm to become its true form, I'm going to go on an exploration journey to find new villages. Anything good in this chest here? <laughs> Not really. Although I have found animals, so I should probably get some of these so I can get more food. And I'm going to quickly pop back home and grab my looting three swords so I can get more food faster. Now then, will this cow outsmart me? Here we go. Nope, he couldn't get in the water before I got him. That pig has a child, so I won't orphan it. The food situation is now looking a lot healthier. Finally, I've spotted another village. You know what the best thing I get from this place? Free dirt. Not only can I get dirt, I can also get more wheat, more wood, and more bread. I've well and truly ransacked this village. <laughs> 
Time for me to leave. It'd be quite handy to find a shipwreck with paper in it. Apparently I've already been to this one. Since the only way I'll ever get sugarcane is through a wandering trader. And look at this, another village on the way back. With lots more hay for me to steal. It gives me a stack and a half of hay bales and I'm also going to steal their bell. Pretty successful mission, let's get out of here. I can't stop finding them, another village. I'm just here for the wheat. And a grindstone is actually something I'm going to need. I might as well take some extra bread. Another grindstone, going to steal it. And I better leave before they get too angry. Here we are, home sweet home. If I place down some more beds and then give these villagers some bread. We'll have some baby villagers on the way very soon. And I'm very excited that I can now expand my potato farm even more. Just a little update on the potato farm. It is coming along very nicely. Before you know it, the only thing we're gonna be missing are the potatoes. And this potato farm is now finished. Just need to grab this water, place it up here, do it again here, and find it on this one. And as you can see, the water just nicely flows down all the way. And the next task is to till all of the ground. And there we go, it's, it's really starting to come together. These potatoes are ready for harvesting, and then we can replant more. I need to grab some more diamond blocks, and place these as walls to stop any potatoes from escaping. Didn't think it'd take me that long, but the water is now all covered up. All I really need now is a system here that releases water all the way to the bottom. And to do that, we're gonna need redstone. So far we have 20, we're gonna need a lot more than that. Let's also give these guys down here a bit of bread. See if I get any baby villagers that way. So I can either hunt for a cave or I can just dig down. From experience, cave hunting is a bit tricky, so I'm just gonna dig down. And I just dug into lava. Oh wait, I got fire resistance. No need to panic. Oh, we found some redstone at least. More redstone and even more. You know what? I think with this, I should probably have enough. We've got 80 pieces there, plus a load that's at home. No point mining for ages. Might as well just get back. There's an extra villager here, so I'm guessing... Oh, look at this. In fact, there's a baby villager in, in there as well somewhere. Yeah, so we are getting more villagers, which is perfect for my plan. The only thing I need a lot of now is some cobblestone. So this right here is going to be an extremely simple one that has water there and lava there. And then I can just mine like this and... Okay, hold on. It's, it's not quite as intended. I'll let the lava flow to here first. And then, yeah, look at that. Perfect. To be completely honest, this design is far from perfect. I'm going to build a much better one. So the water goes there. The lava goes here. And there we go. It makes cobblestone. And then I can just sit here and mine to my heart's content. Now with this newfound cobblestone, I can make 16 pistons all in a row along here. Next, I want blocks directly below them. And feed into those blocks, we're going to need some repeaters. I also didn't use a good material. Why did I put wood here? Of course it's going to burn up. Some crying obsidian is a much better material. Now to make the repeaters, we're going to have to smelt the cobblestone. With this villager, I can use my new plant to get lots and lots of emeralds. This guy is going to trade coal for emeralds, which does sound rubbish to begin with, but once I upgrade him a lot more, instead of having to sell him coal, I'll be selling him diamonds. And as you can imagine, we've, we've got plenty of them. So the basic premise for this is going to be a repeater like that, and redstone right here, and that's going to basically connect all of those, and there's going to be something that connects down here, some sort of button. That will lower the pistons, releasing the water, which will harvest the crops. I feel like I need to make another furnace. This is going to take forever. Well, that means I've got to mine more cobblestone. I mean, two furnaces will make it twice as good. At least that's the theory, anyway. I've crafted all the required repeaters for this section, and redstone along here is going to connect them all up. One final repeater there, and then we're going to add these blocks with redstone behind each one and finally a little staircase downwards with redstone that connects all the way back to the beginning with a button but as it happens i've somehow run out of redstone so we're going mining as well grab any coal i see on the way since it'll be given to that villager perfect even more redstone and more coal after mining up this redstone i've probably got enough now what have we got here wait is it amethyst geode didn't expect to randomly come across one of these and because it's right below my house all of them are pretty much grown so i might as well grab loads of shards and to me that's a great time to head back to the surface we can finally finish wiring up this machine and look at that, just enough redstone. Just need to mine up a piece of cobblestone, create a lever, and if everything's gone to plan, all of the pistons should extend. Next, I can place blocks along here, and with these blocks, we can create a nice little trough, which then needs to be filled with water sources. Thankfully, this is pretty easy with the way that water works, and if I was to flick this lever, it would now release the water and harvest all the potatoes, but as you can see, we're we're a little bit short in that department. So I'm going to go and get a load of bone meal and grow more. But before I do that, I'd like to give this guy some coal. And the best way for me to find bone meal is to find some fossils. And here we have some right here. Already I've got half a stack, which is probably going to be enough. And now with this, we can grow the potatoes and create a thriving farm. I'm growing quite a lot here. I think I'd like to test it out. So we flick this lever. Now it's the water coming. It would seem I made a slight, slight miscalculation and didn't account that this water would have to also go over these blocks. But don't worry, I've got a plan. Fine. instead instead put gravel on top of these pistons and replace this water like this and fill in the water a layer higher. In theory, it should work this time. Here we go. Take two. Come on, water. 
Flow all the way down for me. Yes, it's going. And it's about to harvest my potatoes. Look at that. We'll add some hoppers at the bottom eventually. But I'm just glad that the machine is working well. I feel like I'm the only person that could get this excited over a simple potato farm. Finally, I can add some doorbells to my house. I think I'm going to add diamond blocks like this. Which means I'll only need 45 pieces of glass to fill that in. And now I'm going to go on a bit of an exploration journey with the goal of finding more paper. And more coal will be nice as well. And mountains like these are perfect for that. I'm going to duck into this cave. Hopefully it doesn't just to a dead end. Oh, look at this. Perfect. Loads of coal. Did they make coal more common or something? It seems to be everywhere. Found another mineshaft as well. This is going to be useful just to get a bit more wood. Not that I'm particularly short on it. And now the search for paper continues. This is where I want to be the ocean with a dolphin. Look at this up ahead. A pillager outpost. We can definitely use this to get a totem. And look at this. Dark oak as well. Pillagers only spawn on dirt, grass and sand during the day, but at night they'll spawn on any block. So I shouldn't have to wait long to get more of these guys, although we've got the very one that we want. And now that we've been exiled, we can get out of here. And over here we have a village which is pretty close by. So it looks like it's time to start the raid. Kind of wish I brought a shield but we should be okay. Just gonna have to do some dodging and weaving. Wave one, pretty easy. Oh my goodness, that guy's in the village. No, don't let him die. I, I, did I stop him? That's it. Whoa, I won't let anything happen to you guys. Whoa, wait, where were you? This is very handy. They're all stuck on an island. So you're gonna try and come at me through the water, are you? I think I could just hit this guy from below and yeah, he can't get me. This is very, very OP indeed. They won't be coming at me through the water again in a hurry. I really don't get why you guys don't all just go inside and stay inside where it's safe. So, they think they can come through the water. Well, let's be honest, it didn't work well for you last time. Although against the Ravager, it does kind of make it a little bit trickier. Decide it's going to be on my terms and we're going to do it on land. From this guy, we can get my first totem. Let's just equip that. It's sad to say, I think my boots just broke. Gollum, don't come out to sea. I'm pretty sure you can't swim. And I'm on half a heart. I'm just going to keep moving. think it's time for a golden apple. Hang on a minute. The Gollum is... He's doing a good job. You distract him, Gollum, I'll come from behind. And now the next wave begins. And it's the island tactic again. I just hit a villager. I am so sorry. That was an accident, mate. I, I, I just saw someone come around the corner. I'm blaming you. You're confusing me. Another totem. Can I pick it up? Let's just throw something out. Definitely makes life a lot easier when there's no ravagers. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is the final wave. With not one, but two ravagers. Oh, well, there goes the first totem. Thankfully, I've got another. It's definitely a much harder battle when you don't have a bow. If I can get rid of this guy, though, things will be a lot easier. Hold on, guys. Just a quick time out. I need to go to sleep. Now, let's get rid of you once and for all. And you as well. You've been doing my head in. There we go. Now, I've got to stop these guys completely ransacking the village. Oh, my goodness. I've just used another totem. I've had just about enough of this. I'm building a tower. Taking them out the safe way. Here we have the final guy. Come on. Let's get rid of you. We've got another totem. I d defeat. I lost. Uh, but you think I've lost anyway, but who's the real winner? Because I got two more totems. So even though the village is completely ruined, I've got three totems in total. I may have used up two, but I guess that's just one of those things. Now the quest to find a shipwreck continues. And look at that, a shipwreck has been spotted dead ahead. And the good thing about this one is it's definitely going to have some paper in it. Okay, that's the wrong chest. Well, that was a lot of lovely iron. As I was saying, it's definitely going to have paper in it. We might as well take this map and see where it leads. Apparently southwest is the way it's saying. Somewhere over here. It's actually very close to the outpost. And if I dig right about here, look at that, there's the chest loads of loot. Now my search for paper can resume. I keep finding these geodes everywhere. Look, there's one down there. There's another one all the way over there. But most importantly, there's a shipwreck here. Sadly, not one with paper. But hey, more potatoes. <laughs> I like a bit of that. This one looks better. Let's grab the treasure and also the paper. And this map right here is going to be southwest. This shipwreck's a bit of a letdown, but I'm going to take the carrots. Even more paper in here. And this one should also have paper and another map. Although sadly, both the maps point to exactly the same place. Let's also grab this treasure whilst we're here. And this doesn't seem right, but according to the map... Oh, it is. It's all the way back here. It has more gold, more TNT, emeralds. Brilliant. I feel like I should bring at least one heart of the sea home in case I ever want it. I've got space, so I'm picking up the fish. So now I can craft some firework rockets, equip my elytra, and fly back home. And what have we got here? Even more iron, and more paper, and potentially a new map. This treasure should be right about here, I think. Yep, there we go. We found it, and loads more iron. And that's enough exploring for me. Let's head back home. And look at this. We found a monument on the way. Well, I might as well go in and defeat the Elder Guardians. Here's the first guy. Okay, my heart, my health just got completely crushed by those guardians. <laughs> Gotta be a little bit more careful. Maybe wearing a chest plate would be a good idea. I think it's all about just being slow and steady. If it's slow and steady you want, then my axe is a tool for the job. There we go, we got the first one. Don't know what I'll do with this sponge, but it's gonna be nice to have. Here is the goal, but I'm not ready for that. And oh my goodness, there is a lot of guardians. I <laughs> gotta be careful. Hey guys, I just realized why they're called guardians. It's because they guard the monument. It's all making sense now. Not many people can say they've done this, 
Gone for a sleep underwater. The good thing about that is you can actually breathe while you're doing it. Here's Elder Guardian number two. Oh, look at this. We've got him on the ropes already. Kind of got myself on the ropes there. A little bit weak. But that guy's weak as well. We got him. And now I've just got one Elder Guardian left to find. Here he is. There we go. We got him. And here's the sponge room. So we might as well grab this as well. Just got to wait a couple of minutes to get rid of the minor fatigue. And the minor fatigue has now run out. So let's just get rid of that sponge and... Do I have a hoe? Doesn't look like it, but that's not a problem. I'm just going to have to mine everything by hand. I found the other sponge room as well. Perfect. I can also get back my bed and steal their gold. And with that, I'm getting out of here. A ruins on the way here with a golden apple. That's nice. I can still dream of one day finding that notch apple. Tell you what, guys, there's no place like home. Let's offer this guy more coal. All of a sudden, coal isn't really that valuable. But iron, well, that definitely is. And look at that. Diamonds are his next trade. Oh my goodness, mate. Have I got good news for you? Look at this. You want diamonds? Oh, we've got loads of them. And then the plan from that is just to have loads of those guys that I can sell diamonds to. Even though this eventually will be a strictly potato farm, I'm going to plant some carrots here as well. First order of business, buy some mending books. Well, this is where the missing villagers are. You're losing the cauldrons. Well, I don't think you are. Instead, you're going to be staying in here because you guys are going to be buying diamonds from me. But of course, first I need to upgrade you a little bit. No idea what I'll do with these iron helmets. Look at that. He's willing to buy diamonds. Perfect. Now you're next. This guy's let me down. He's wanting lava for emeralds. You're supposed to want diamonds. I'll deal with you in the morning. Now, although you've let me down, I need you to breed more villagers first, so I'm going to have to leave you alive. So here's some bread for both of you. I'm going to expand your house so it's a little bit bigger, and then place some beds here so that we get more villagers. Look at this. The plan's working. We've got a baby villager. Now let's add mending to this chest plate, and I think I'm going to head to the stronghold and get a load more books. And there's the pole to mark it. Let's head down these steps. I can also get more gunpowder while I'm here. And here are all the bookcases. Cases, I'm gonna actually mine them up with silk touch. It'll just save me wood further down the line. I've got 18 bookcases, that should be enough, so I'm just gonna get the rest as books. I've got more than enough books, I'm getting out of here. Did I ever come to this bookcase room? I don't think I did, and look at this, more books, and more paper, and look at these, brilliant. And a bit more in this chest as well. Now we can fly back home, grab more coal on the way because I'm still gonna need it. These bookcases can be placed here, and I'll use these to upgrade my armor. The only thing I'm missing now is some lapis. So once again, I'm going on a caving mission, but I'd also like to craft some shears, and if possible, just get a lot of wool on my way. Kind of sad to think that once that sheep's been sheared, it can never grow back its wool again, since there's no grass in the world for it to eat. Well, I successfully did the lapis part of the mission, and I even got more paper on the way. Can't be bothered with the treasure map anymore. I mainly wanted wool so I could make beds, but it's going to be way quicker for me to just steal them from the villagers. And an extra lectern's always nice. This poor fella just trying to get some shud iron, he's, he's been taken out. I have to say, this village has a lot of beds. Now my inventory's full, I might as well head back home. Wonder if I've been here before. Yeah, I'd, I'd say I probably have. Here we are. Home sweet home. Good news, guys. I've got you loads more beds. I think it's probably time we made your house a bit bigger. Really? You fell in the hole as well? You know what? I'm just going to build a thriving village down here. This is where the villagers will now live. And they've got more than enough beds. Minor tunnel so you guys can come through to your new home. Looks like you want your job site blocks down here as well. No problem at all, matey. Now I've transported these guys to a much better location. And finally, let's light up their home with some torches. Next, I can use all of those blocks to expand this house. All right, the walls are coming down. You guys are going to have way more space. I think that means I'm going to move the beds around. And you know what? All those items in there, I'm just gonna let them despawn. I'm so sorry. I did not mean that. I'm so, wait. Don't tell them. Don't get him angry, angry. Please. No, don't go and talk to him. Oh my goodness, you've blooming doubled your price for diamonds. Well, I'll still pay it. That was a slight disaster, but I'm sure he'll get over it. Now then, let's craft some diamond boots. And I'm going to go and upgrade them. I'm going to do a little bit of combining here and put those with that. There we go. Okay, that's way more expensive. Just broke my anvil there, putting those together. Thankfully, it's no trouble because we have loads of iron. I'm happy with these two boots, and I will combine them, but first I want to get some other boots with feather falling and thorns. And bread! Let's give you guys more bread! And that goes for you guys as well. Since I have so much iron and so much wood, I could make a load of chests and then a load of hoppers and create a nice little system where all the potatoes will go into this chest by bringing hoppers along like this. And I tell you what, I think the fields are ripe for harvesting. Just gonna add a little barrier along here like this. And now, time for the big reveal. Here we go. Look at it. The water is moving along nicely. Very, very satisfying to watch. Just a few potatoes that escaped the grasp. And look at this chest nicely filling up. Whilst I wait for that, I'm gonna go and find more lapis. I can kind of go down this hole, I think. Um, I'm just gonna gracefully float down though. There's no need to do anything stupid. And now I just need to strip mine. Okay, I found some very, very quickly indeed. 41 should be enough for now. Actually, never mind. I'm gonna keep going. And I found some more already as well. Okay. 
I found a lot of lapis very quick. Did they make it more common in 1.17 or something? And the best thing is I can very easily fly out of here. I've got Feather Falling 4 and these. The only thing I need now is a Thorns book. And hopefully this fella will give it to me when he grows up. Can't wait to see how much we got. Look at all this. It's still filtering in. That's crazy. Let's also smelt more stone. Let's make two furnaces and two blast furnaces. Grab a load of coal and get some more armorers. Sell him a load of coal and upgrade him to the diamond one. He's another lava bucket to you. <laughs> You don't want to know what happens to lava bucket men. Let's see if this guy's any better. Oh my goodness. You as well. So you want lava, you want lava, and you want lava. Well, your days are numbered. I'm just going to plant my potatoes and move on. And wow, what a farm this is. I didn't realize it would take such a long time to plant all of these. But hey, it's definitely worth it. Hi guys, I brought food. Enjoy. That's it. Feast to your heart's content. Oh, look at them. They love it. They can't get enough of the potatoes. I managed to get thorns too, which means that I believe I can max out this armor if I... Okay, well, it's going to be quite... An expensive thing. Actually, it's it's too expensive, so <laughs> need a new plan. Whilst I wait for villagers to grow up, I'm going to go mining for ancient debris. Tell you what, finding ancient debris really is a nightmare in this world. Finally, I found some more. And it's two pieces. Thank goodness for that. I'm going to make that three. That definitely makes me feel better about spending another 20 minutes strip mining. And here we've got some more. It's actually two pieces. Didn't take anywhere near as long to find that vein. Another piece of ancient debris. Very nice. Although, unfortunately, it was only one by the looks of things. Okay, we've got another piece. Perfect. And it's two. All right, that's really, really good. That means I've got eight pieces of ancient debris, so I'm getting out of here. It's very nice to be back, and it's probably a good time to get some sleep. Now, I can smelt this ancient debris, sell some diamonds to this guy, and this guy as well. Let's craft a couple of ingots, and as soon as I get thorns, I'll make some netherite armor. Finally, I've got a guy that will give me thorns three. For a pretty good price as well. I'm going to buy a few of these. Now I can add that to this chest plate and turn it into a netherite one. And the same with the boots. And I made a mistake and they're, they're too expensive. They're almost maxed. I just need to get feather falling on them. And that's what I'll do if I ever get the book. Look at that. We're covered in debris. I just need a little bit more XP from diamonds. And I can also max out my helmet. RIP to another anvil. I'm a little low on emeralds, so I'm going to buy some more. Now I'm going to spend some time getting feather falling. Finally managed to get feather falling. Let's buy that. And this guy spawned in. Anything good for me, sir? Well, if you'd have given me sugarcane, I would have loved you. But instead... <laughs> You're not welcome. The next thing I need is a brand new anvil and I've only got seven iron. So you know what that means? We're going mining. And I just used my totem like an idiot. <laughs> I thought I could fly down, but I, I didn't start flying early enough. I should find some iron. And in total, I'm going to need 31 iron. I should dig into a cave and that has loads of iron. I think once I've mined up this, I should have all the iron that I need. Yep, 32 pieces. That's more than enough. I missed some here as well. I'll grab that. Now the best way out of here is to dig straight up. Looks like I'm digging straight past an amethyst geode, but I've got better things to do than going there. Let's set that off smelting. And the potatoes look ready for harvesting. This is probably the most exciting part of the video for me. Watching all the potatoes go into the hoppers. Gonna scam these villagers a bit more. Craft a new anvil. And with that, I can fully max out my armor. There you have it. The perfect armor and it only took me 72 days. And next, I'd like to battle the wither. So I've got a looting sword. I'm gonna go and get all of the things that I need. Thankfully, there's a fortress right next door to my portal which I can use and this next part could take some time but it was actually very quick for you and I have all the stuff that I need and I boxed myself in because things started to get a little bit hectic but I'm just going to make a run for it the good thing is this fortress is in a warped forest so loads and loads of mobs can spawn and here we are home sweet home I'm going to get a little bit more experience by mining diamonds there we go level 30 and look at the upgrades I've got on my bow if I go and combine those together we've got a power 5 one also got 53 blaze rods from my time in the fortress that's quite a lot I'm also going to get myself a bit more food so that we're ready for the challenges ahead now, my plan is to spawn the wither in such a way that I can find ancient debris. Because mining around for it, well, it, it just takes too long. So I reckon if I put this guy like this... Alrighty, now we need to stand back. Get ready for the explosion. Okay, did you expose any ancient debris? No, you're useless. If I can just kind of stand around, look at him. Yeah, that's it. Keep breaking stuff. I just hit him with my sword a few times. That gets him a little bit crazy. A lot of XP and diamonds are flowing. I can also just about get him with my bow. Just realized I completely forgot to bring my totem, so I've got to be careful. See, this is the way to strip mine. I just keep hitting him, and then he breaks a load of blocks for me. I don't know why I've never done this before in Minecraft. It's so effective. Oh, I'm going to a dead end and there's lava flowing in. That's um, not quite what I was expecting. Oh, there's lava everywhere. Eh? Just going to try and swim through. Now then, any ancient debris around here? None so far. So I'll just keep going with this method. I really, I've got a great system going at this point. Oh my goodness, there's ancient debris on the ground. I've got to grab it. So the wither will not only find you ancient debris, it will break it for you as well. I've run out of tunnels, so I'm just going to get rid of this wither now. There we go. I was just keeping him alive all the time. I had also run out of food, but what an effective way to get ancient debris. But now the real question is, did we get more than two pieces? I was also very close to withering away there. We have one and a half hearts and no food. So far, I've not had much success with this. I've got to be careful with this lava as well. It seems to flow. Look at that. It does that. It tries to 
to catch you out. Oh, hold on. We've got some ancient debris. Perfect. Is it just two pieces? Yeah, it looks like that's all there is, but that gives me four in total, which is another netherite piece. Not looking forward to somehow navigating through all this lava. Here is the staircase, and thank goodness I can grab a totem and also start cooking some food. And if I take this netherite scrap, combine it with gold to make netherite ingot, I can now get the netherite sword. And if I sell some of these diamonds, and sell a few more to this guy as well, and then buy a mending book, I can add mending to my sword. And I managed to get a sharpness four book, so if I go and combine them together, sharpness five. I'm going to take five sand and set it off smelting. And then I'm going to deal with the, uh, the potato overload. I have got a lot of planting to do. Another day of farming is complete. And my glass is finished. Let's grab three pieces of obsidian, craft a beacon. And of course, we're going to need some diamond blocks. And let me just clear a bit of a space so that we now have a full diamond beacon. And there we go. It is complete. Let's put a diamond in there. Hold on a second. Why is it? Oh yeah, we have to uh, select haste. Let's do a haste two one because... That's just going to be good. Let's be mine the diamond slightly faster. Let's give loads of potatoes to my villagers and attempt to get a villager that will trade me a fire aspect book. Okay, that was very quick indeed. Fire aspect two, we can afford it. Let's get rid of all these diamond blocks and get out of here. And now that my sword is upgraded to fire aspect two, I can go on a journey to find some animals. And this will give me lots and lots of cooked food. Looting three fire aspect is very powerful. I've already got 70 pieces. 100 pork chops should be enough for me. But hey, I can see eight more pigs. I might as well get these as well. All right, we've got over two stacks. I'm stopping it this point. Count yourself lucky, little piggy. There's also a ruined portal on the way. Still no elusive, not chapel. I have to say, when I swoop in to see this potato farming, it brings a tear to my eye. It really is beautiful. Now, I think it's about time we got this finished. Spent ages building an amazing house and I live outside of it. So that means I need to upgrade one of these guys up to the point where they will give me glass. Of course, I've got a plan. It involves selling potatoes. Gone are the days when I can just hand potatoes out for free. Let's slap down some composters and start selling. Well, this guy's already going to want to buy potatoes. Perfect. And as quick as that, I've already sold out. But I'm also very close to upgrading this guy. Sold a few more diamonds. I can afford another bookcase. And this guy's selling silk touch. Actually, I quite like that. You've successfully made a sale site. We'll also buy a load of lanterns. And there we go. We've got the glass. Let's add silk touch to this pickaxe. Buy more emeralds. And I can get all the glass in the world and begin the work to complete my house. I can even add lanterns to it now. Also, I get the feeling that something glitched because I'm sure I set this to Blackstone. I'm guessing the Diamond World data pack turned it into Diamond Ore again or something. So I'm going to get some cobblestone instead. It really doesn't get any better than adding a cobblestone floor to your house. There we go. The new and improved floor is complete. Get in the middle here, we'd have some diamond blocks. And if I grab the egg like that, perfect. With a lodestone there and that on top. Now I just need lava to fill all this in. And thankfully I have plenty of iron to make plenty of buckets. Let's fill all of these up and place them like like so. Getting enough lava for this could take a while. And there we go. That's all the lava in. I will quickly add in the glass. And there we have it. It's complete. All that's missing now is a bed, which I'm going to put right here. Got plenty of paper, but I'm going to go on a bit of a hunt to try and find some gunpowder. In fact, there's creepers all over the place. And by creepers all over the place, I mean there's two creepers. But well, that got me six gunpowder and 18 rockets. I'm also going to change this diamond ore down here to instead be diamond blocks. I think I'm going to go exploring. I'd love to see if I can find a notch apple, but that's definitely easier said than done. Here's the first opportunity to find one. But we didn't. At least we got a gold block, though. Seems that we found a mine shaft in a mesa biome. And that for some reason, yellow terracotta doesn't become diamond. Just a shame it's not a very useful block. Another ruins. And not so much for disappointment. And here we have a mine shaft. Now, what is in this chest? Anything good? Whoa, glowberries. Okay, that's a brand new item. Take the name tag as well. I can hold glowberries in my offhand and it works as a torch. Another chest here. More glowberries. We, we want that notch apple. I also like how I'm using glowberries as a torch when I literally have torches in my inventory. The third chest. The third disappointment. And what on earth? Where did you come from? <laughs> You've wandered a bit off course, haven't you, sir? Now then. No sugar cane still. You disappoint me, you stupid trader. We can get more gunpowder here as well. Here we go. This is probably going to be a lot more promising. Although other than the sand, it's <laughs> it's been a bit of a letdown. I think I'm going to stay the night at this village. What's that? You want to sleep in this bed? No, not tonight, sir. A gold block has been spotted. And another pyramid. I'll do as much digging as it takes to find this chest. Here we go. Well, that wasn't worth digging for. <laughs> This pyramid was the one that I'd just been to. What have we got down here? Oh my goodness, we actually got one. I accidentally flooded this uh, this thing, but we actually got a notch up. I, I was not expecting that. The last chest I checked. No, 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 no. Not now. No. Why? <laughs> Man, I was about to go and get that TNT. Oh well. At least I survived. Probably hold a totem instead of these stupid glow berries. Well, the missions don't get much more successful than that. And from all that gunpowder, I could actually craft nearly two stacks of firework rockets. I think I'd like to hang these glow berries in my house. Really does give it that, that dirt feel, doesn't it? This iron pickaxe did serve me well, but it's time 
to say goodbye. I have only two goals left. Get a netherite shovel and a netherite axe and get my XP level to 100. And for both those things, I'm going to need another wither. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Didn't take me too long. I've got everything I need. I'd also like to get myself some fire resistance. And now I'm ready for the next phase of my plan. This is the beginning of a very long corridor. So let's place all this stuff down here and weaken this guy a bit so that he goes to half health. There we go. We've got him right where we want him. And all this XP has now healed my elytra so I can put on my chest plate. And this should get me all the way to level 100. I picked up some ancient debris. I don't know where that just came from, but he must have broken it. Just seen some more ancient debris. This guy might destroy it, though. Oh, he's left it. Perfect. Speaking of being destroyed, I've gone down to half a heart. <laughs> Might as well just heal up a little bit. More ancient debris. I'm going to grab it. We're at 75 levels now. Getting close. I've reached the end of my tunnel, but I am so, so close to getting to level 90. There we go. We made it. I'm going to try and lure the wither back this way. And I'll also grab any extra ancient debris on the way. This wither will actually leave me alone to get it. There we go. We got him. Okay, I did not expect that to happen. Just had to use my totem. Thankfully, I do have another one. It must have been weaker than I thought. Here's my ancient debris. Let me grab that. The tunnel continues this way, so let's lure the wither down. 100 levels, here I come. Oh, some more ancient debris. Nice. See another piece. Oh, there's loads here. Okay, perfect. We've got all the ancient debris we actually need. And just five levels to go. Level 97, 98... 99 and 100. Perfect. Now this wither can be defeated. And I can collect up all the ancient debris on the way. This is the 11th piece. If we get another one, we can actually get another ingot. Oh my goodness, there's someone underneath this lava. And this is piece number 12. If that isn't a very successful mission, I don't know what is. Now let's get out of here. Let's start smelting both of these. And I'll build another diamond beacon whilst I wait. There we go. Then craft another beacon. And I'm going to get speed from this one. Oh man, I didn't know glowberries grew down like that. Oh, what a mess this house is becoming. But at the same time, I kind of like it. Now these are finished smelting. Let's craft the ingots. Create a netherite axe, a netherite shovel. And yes, you guessed it, a netherite hoe. Because then we get the serious dedication achievement. This new guy... Guy looks promising that I might be able to sell diamonds to him. Meanwhile, I'm going to get rid of the other guys. Accidentally got rid of the guy that uh, <laughs> buys diamonds from me. And now, instead of one emerald, they're all charging 64. I'm sure they'll get over it eventually. Here, yeah, have some potatoes. That'll cheer you up. Big enough potatoes. It's that time again where I can harvest all of them. Wouldn't it be great if I could make a machine that could plant potatoes for me? Oh wait, it's not a machine. It's called enslaving a villager. Boss, this has been the greatest thing I've ever built in my entire life playing Minecraft. This is without a doubt going to be the last time I decide to harvest it. Or at the very least, I won't be replanting it. But now for the best part of the job, I can trade all these potatoes for emeralds. The most ingenious thing for the economy ever. I could buy more books, but then I'd have to use up experience and I, I don't want to go below 100. I completely forgot about this poor villager in the hole. Look, look, you're free now, sir. You, you don't have to stay in here for the rest of your life. This can be his new home. Let's, let's put his job site block there. That's it, fella. <laughs> you can finally see the sun again. Now, I don't know how possible this next bit is, but I have no pets. You know, <laughs> my only friends are the villagers. So I'm going to grab some bones and go searching for a dog. I just can't stop finding these pyramids now. Let's see if it's worth visiting. Even just for the sand and the gunpowder, it's pretty handy. I also want to get the TNT. I'm pretty sure it's possible for a forest like this to have a wolf. Blow no sign of any. There's bees everywhere here. I, I kind of want to bring some back. Hang on a minute. Oh, we've got two. Oh, well, I can't not take both of you. Here's a bone for you. How many bones are you going to take? There we go. We got one. And we've got two. Look, you, you only wanted one bone. And if I wait till the sun goes down, all the bees will go back into their beehive. Here he goes. He's just gone in and I can gather them up and take them home. The same goes for these hives as well. We've got three in total. Nice. Now, getting back is a little bit trickier because if I fly too far, my dogs won't teleport after me. So hopefully if I land right about here, <laughs> I went too far. There we go. If we just run this way. I don't know where one of them went. There we go. We're both here. And now I'll continue the journey on foot. And the worst part is, is I'm over 1,500 blocks away. All these dogs everywhere. Do it. Do we go down that road? Yeah, why not? Why not create a dog army? Welcome your dog number six. I didn't bring a stack of bones with me for nothing. I keep seeing pumpkins all over the place. I'm going to grab a few just in case I need them. The beacon has come into view. I have to say, there really is no place like home. Speaking of home, welcome to your new one, dogs. That's it. All of you sit here. So there should be six if we've all made it. It's easy done, isn't it? <laughs> Getting a dog overload. And if we really want a dog overload, let's just feed them all. And now we have nine dogs because we've got three puppies as well. What on earth? You... You can't... No, that's my house. Whoa. <laughs> you know, your house is over here. Look, I put your lectern in it and everything. Maybe he's just exploring, but <laughs> I think he's impressed. Why are you shaking your head? Don't, 
don't be like this. That villager might be a bit nasty, but you guys, not so much. At least I hope so. So give me a rating out of 10. What do you think of my house? I'm going to be scared to read the comments after this. I've decided I'd like to improve the pathway to my house. What on earth are you doing? You better not trample my crops. Get, get off there. I'd like to use stone bricks for the path, so we're going to need a lot of cobblestone. Oh my goodness, he really has moved and he's, he's sleeping in my bed. Oh, but he sleeps in my bed and gets away with it. Come on, dogs, you, you come with me. I'll teach this guy a lesson. Who does he think he is? He's going to get a shock in the morning, he is. Meanwhile, I'll have to sleep in this house. All right, villager. What on earth? How did you get out? I really can't win. This guy has outsmarted me. Just going to take one last look around the place and accept defeat. Yeah, you win. Yeah, nice one. Don't look at me like that. Instead of stone bricks, now it's only going to get a diamond block pathway. And then all the way along the sides, I'm going to place dirt. Dirt which can be turned into grass path. Let's also change these sneaky diamond ores to be dirt instead. You know what? Since this isn't my house anymore, I'm going to put bees in it. That'll teach him not to mess with me. I feel bad for the bees that there's no flowers anywhere, so I'm going to go on a mission to get some. And by mission to get some, I mean just take out these guys. They weren't doing a very good job anyway. There you go, bees. Flowers galore. I'd like five more puppies. Okay, I didn't know he was a one tap. As I was saying, I'd like five more puppies. Probably not good news for the village, but I've got all the puppies I need. My next mission is to try and find some oak wood. And the only place to do that would be at a village. Or I suppose I could find a mine shaft. Here we go. Lots of oak wood for me. Now we can turn these into blanks, create some trap doors, and place them around the dirt. Why? Why are you in here? Why do you wander around this house like you own it? You know what? I've got an idea. You want to live here? Fine. But just remember, once you're in there, you can never leave. Kind of ironic that I used iron bars and it actually turned into a literal prison. And I'm back to sleeping outside. I'm not completely heartless though. I'll still bring him his job site block. So at least if he wants to, he can still go to work. It's just a strange place. It's like part beehive. There's things growing. It's a dirt house. There's an egg in the middle. <laughs> Very, very strange indeed. Now that I can no longer go and see all my dogs because they're also in the prison, I'm going to instead try and find some axolotls and they will be my newest pet. Also, I'm just going to do a food top up since I'm getting a little low. What we're looking for is a cave under the ocean. Didn't find that, but I did find some ruins with a chest with a lot of coal. And let's go and see where this buried treasure leads. I managed to get sidetracked very easily, don't I? And it leads right here to a buried treasure we've already been to. Let's just stick to the plan and find an axolotl. Now there is a cave here. It's underwater. This is prime place for it. Look at this dripstone and glow squid. That's actually, you know what? We're going to get some glow ink. Sorry guys, but you're very valuable to me. Also apparently there's been some bug and <laughs> this part isn't diamond. So the cave led to a mine shaft, but this isn't underwater. So it's, it's not what I want. Axolotls is what I want. I'll just keep searching. Oh no, my... <laughs> My lights are broke. I need to get unbreaking on them, don't I? Now the search has gone old fashioned because we're in a boat. Another ruined portal and it has a golden apple in it. Very nice. I've found a blacksmith with, with apples and iron helmets. Nice. And there's another one over here with, with more apples. Uh, yeah, that's that's amazing. I think I'm just going to stick to looking for axolotls. Found another cave down here. Although apparently for axolotls to spawn, they need to be near something like tough and it needs to be completely dark. They could be near stone, but obviously there's, there's no stone around here. So I reckon my best bet is going to be to try and make my own axolotl farm. So here's the plan. I try Travel back home with these 24 pieces of tough. Whilst on the way, I mine up some diamonds to heal my elytra. Now that I can fly, it's going to be much faster. Next, I dig a hole below sea level, which is under Y equals 63. Currently, we're at 67. And here is the hole that the axolotls will spawn in. I'm going to make it five deep in total. Next, I'm going to fill it up with water. So let's just refill my bucket. And now that I have two sources, we can fill this up very, very fast. And before I go any further, I'm actually going to do the floor now. The floor can be made of stone, tough, granite, anything like that. At the moment, I've only got tough. Unfortunately, cobblestone won't work, but I can smelt cobblestone into regular stone. Let's keep mining. Should have made a stone generator. That would have been better than a cobblestone generator. You know what? With a few modifications, I think it's doable. If I just dig out this, place water there and place water there. I'll make a few signs. Genius at work. I can also glow that up. Beautiful. And I think if I now break this block, it turns to stone. Oh, it's it's amazing. Okay, I've still got to be careful. Probably best to put a block like that and then I'm not moving at all. And if I go like this, I think, I think it's going to get me, right, it is, it is generating stone. And I just want to place some obsidian there. Yeah, that's perfect. So now we are, we are picking up the stone. It's not the most effective thing ever. Definitely not the most effective thing ever. Let's try it from here instead. Can you believe I'm doing all this for just a few axolotls? Right, this is it now. This is my finished stone farm. I realize how terrible of a design it is that I'm having to get rid of the lava for it to work. <laughs> Otherwise, for some reason, the stone just keeps burning. Now that I've finished messing around with that, my stone has finished smelting. Let's get this place finished. The stone's all in. I just need to add loads of water now. And because of the way water works, you can do that very, very fast. That's all filled in. So I need to fly out of there, cover this up with blocks so that it's pitch black, and then build up very, very high. I've waited up here a little bit. Let's have a look. Let's go and, and head down. Well, MLG, just kidding. We're going to use my elytra. I don't want to waste a totem like that. So we break this and okay, we got one. It was working. Perfect. And oh, there's two of them. Oh, I like the color of this one. Let's 
Let's pick you up in a bucket. I, I guess we've kind of made a glow squid farm. Because if they take out the glow squid, we can get ink sacks. Let's make a crafting table. Two more iron buckets. And we can pick up the other axolotls as well. Don't worry, glow squid. You can now live in peace. Now, the next question is, where do I want the axolotls to live? I, I could put them in this house somewhere, but... I don't know, somebody's somebody's taken over this place. So I'm thinking I'd dig out some big tanks around this pathway. There we go. Let's fill this in with water. We can use that. I feel like I should make it a little bit deeper for these guys. Then the same on the other side. And I can fill this side with water as well. Next, I'm going to grab loads of emeralds, buy some more glass, and start filling it in. I feel like it could be slightly improved if I bone meal the ground. There you go. This is a little bit more lively for you. What are you doing? Get back in the water. <laughs> no escapes, all right? There we go. Let's... Uh... Fill all that in. Now I'm going to get more glass from this guy. And fully box in both sides. I kind of need an easier way up and down with this. Look at this. There's loads of axolotls here. We can completely fill the tanks. And I can fly up out of the hole. That's no problem. Put all of these in here. Okay. Apparently this is just for yellow ones on this side. Sorry little fella. I hope you don't feel outnumbered. Let's grab a few more. With that I can try and add some, yeah, some non-yellow ones on this side. And then these two on this side. There we go, apparently. <laughs> now you're outnumbered. It's alright though. We've got loads here. I'll be the first to admit it. I've got a little bit carried away with axolotls. That's enough for now. I did not expect this little room to do so well. I've got these pumpkins, so it'd be pretty cool to make some snow golems. In fact, there's more pumpkins over here. I can already see myself getting a little carried away here. Now then, I need snow, and, and this mountain looks like a good place to find it. Just realised an issue, I've got a silk touch shovel, which is not what I want. No worries though, we can just make a diamond one, and start collecting the snowballs, which can then be crafted into snow blocks, and then these can all be used back home. Discovered another gold block on the way back, let's go. Oh, it's two of them here actually. Definitely gonna grab both of these. Now then, if I grab these shears, place down all these pumpkins, and then carve them all. Then I'm going to kind of block myself in here. <laughs> yes, we're going to spawn these guys in. Wait, where's the village you got? Oh, he's over here. We're going to have a row of snow golems all the way around like this. All right, dogs, don't be too alarmed at what's about to happen. But we... Oh, no, wait, they're all dying. No. Oh, no. <laughs> I guess we're not in a good place for this. The silk touch shovel is actually going to come in handy now. Apparently, all this area is actually a desert. <laughs> and over here is where the acacia biome starts. But can golems even survive in a savannah? No, I I'm sorry about this, sir. Looks like I'm going to have to find a biome that's not quite as warm. I was flying away, but I realised I literally live right by a swamp. So if I just start by building some walls, and I can fill in this area using my spare diamond ore. There we go. This is really starting to come together. I'm a little bit worried that this house is going to be boring if I just fill in the roof with diamonds completely. So I'm going to try some snow. And if I craft a load of glass panes, I can fill in all these windows and this front bit here as well. You know what? I'm going to mine up this floor and turn it into oak planks. Turns out I don't have enough. Well... <laughs> This is a little awkward. Looks like I'm going on a journey to find some. These are dark oak planks. Not quite what I was looking for, but I'm going to take them anyway because I can make it work. I think with that, I've got more than enough. Time to set off back home. So I'm thinking we can mine away all the planks around the edge and instead replace them with dark oak. Alrighty, let's make this hole a bit bigger. Place down enough snow for 12 snow golems and hopefully all of these guys manage to survive. Look at this. It's working perfectly. And for a bit of variation, some of them are going to be having their pumpkins taken off. There we go. What a diverse society we've got here. All I need now is some coal to craft some torches. The lighter up their home. Finally, I'll just put some more snow on the roof. It's a bit of a random thing to build, but hey, that's what we do on this channel. I'd also like to add some blocks around this glass, and I'm thinking snow will be perfect for that. There we go, and it looks like we're going to have enough. I almost feel like the snow looks slightly out of place. Maybe I'll add a snow border to the house. Notice how I now call it the house, because I don't have the right to call it mine anymore. And unfortunately, we're out of snow, which means we're going back to the mountains and back to picking up snowballs. I've now got a stack that should be enough. Let's just quickly place it all the way around the outside. There we go. What do we think? I think it maybe improves it a little bit. But if I'm being completely honest, the house probably looked better before I added any of the snow. But I feel like it's too late to turn back now. You know what I think? I think it's about time I released these poor villagers to the world. I could have sworn there was more than four of you in it. Oh, oh <laughs> that was my fault. I can put a door here. There we go. Patch all that up. You guys can go outside anytime. And I feel like I should do the same thing for these guys. That's it, villagers. Be free. And all of a sudden, we have a thriving village again. Just so long as no more of them go in my house. I hate to use my levels like this, but I'm going to upgrade this pickaxe. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it's, it's pretty good. Now all I need to go with it is to make it into a netherite one, which means digging for ancient debris. In fact, before I go any further, I've got a plan. First, I want to get some emeralds and also some Sell some to this guy. I feel bad for this poor fella. He's... Wait, what on earth? Wait, did a golem just hit me? What did I do wrong? Whoa, why is there a golem after me? Maybe he's angry that I've imprisoned this guy. There we go. He, he can go outside. Okay, he's, he's welcome to go outside, golem. Look at him. He's got. He's got. He's, he's just angry at me. I don't know. What? What? What did I do? All right. Stand back. You know what? I'm just gonna make a run for it. Here we go. Come on. All right, the totem got used. Is that my last totem as well? What a stupid golem. You know this means war. I'm not having it. Oh, look at him. Big fella. Tough guy. Yeah, that's right. Um, okay, I better I better come up with a plan. Not so tough now, are you? Yeah, that's right, you stupid golem. I don't know. I didn't want to have to do that, but 
Needs must. Oh my goodness, the other one's attacking me. Why? Why are all the villagers, why are all the golems mad at me? I've done nothing but kind things to these villagers. You angry as well? Hmm? Tough guy? Yeah, he's alright. No, he's not alright. It's like every time I go near that house. <laughs> Just a wanted man in this village. Sorry to wake you up, good sir, but I, I'd like to buy... Oh, you, you've not restocked yet. Let's buy mending from this guy. Another golem. Why? Why? What have I done? Why are you all angry at me? I don't understand it. I mean, I just feel bad that I'm taking these guys out. They've spawned another one. Are you angry at me? Come on. Hit me, I dare you. Oh, okay, did. If anybody has any idea what's going on, let me know. I wonder if it's because I took out all these villagers. I wonder if you guys are still upset with me. They've all been gossiping about me, that's what it is. All right, good sir, for you, I have loads of wheat. And if I set off the old potato harvester, I'll be able to get even more emeralds and more mending. Then I can add that to more things. One last one, and that can go on my axe. Now I'm going to take some sand, the few gunpowder that I have left, and make a bit more TNT. And we're going to see if we can find that ancient debris. So I plan to just kind of place TNT like this, with the button on front, blow it up, and see what happens same on this side as you can imagine we're going to be going through a lot of tnt oh my goodness we actually find some ancient debris that's brilliant please be more than one piece though it looks like it's only going to be hold on a second it's three wow i only need to find one more and we'll be sorted for the tnt there we'll do the same over here even with only being able to strip mine i'm sure i can still find one piece I seem to have dug through to the the wither tunnel okay not where i want to be so i'm going to dig a bit further through this is the second to last tnt and here we go one final tnt put the button on light it up and we didn't get any. Which means all I can do now is some good old-fashioned strip mining. Hang on a second. I've got a bed. <laughs> we might as well use the beds as well. That one didn't work, but let's try one more time. Still absolutely nothing. Could go back and get all the beds from the village. But it's not quite come to that just yet. We're now on day 100. Time is ticking away for me. Finally, I have found some. It's two pieces. We're, oh, it's three pieces. We're going to have some to spare. Now I can make the long journey back home through the TNT tunnels and up these stairs. And the darkness has come, but I can very quickly do some smelting, create another netherite ingot, and make another netherite pickaxe. And now I really do have full netherite tools. In order to find some custom diamonds, I'm first going to need to find a normal one, which means grabbing a bunch of wood, making some tools, and grabbing a bit of iron when I see it. Eight pieces, not bad. And before I can go into a cave, I definitely need some food. And, and this place does look amazing, but I don't see anything particularly edible around here. Look at that. Grass is ahead. There's also grass path down here. I wonder if that means what I think it does. Oh, look at this. There's a village at the top of this hill. The question is, is it a village with some food to steal? Indeed it is. And to add insult to injury, I'm going to throw some snowballs at that poor villager. Handy furnace right here. Sorry about this little baby, but I'm stealing your bed. And whilst bread is okay, I don't really want to live that vegetarian life. So now I'm going after meat. Sorry, cows. That just means you're on the menu. And there's another village man. This is like Minecraft easy mode. Although I'm not even going to bother with it. I'll just grab a little bit extra wood as well as some coal and then head into a cave. More iron, which could be useful. And a dungeon. All right, nice. There's nothing useful in it, but hey, it's still nice. Oh my goodness. There's another one right next to it. Minecraft never ceases to amaze me. I should also probably cook a little bit of food before I forget. And smelt this iron. Now to make a bucket and pickaxe. Now I shall grab a little bit of water and dig straight down. And that is why I got a water bucket. Well, this place definitely has diamond potential. Oh my goodness. It looks absolutely amazing. Well, no point messing about. Let's just jump and see what we can find. Remember, <laughs> I never miss an MLG. Now look at this. The diamonds have been tracked down. Let's carefully mine them. And if I get a glass bottle, I can make a diamond potion. I guess that's what I need to do. The only problem is that the way to get glass bottles is to leave <laughs> the caves and go all the way back up there. I wish I'd known that before I came all the way down here. Might as well grab some extra diamonds on my way out too, because this cave has quite a lot of them. Now, going for this diamond is a little bit risky, since every mob in the world is currently after me. But hey, they have like an IQ of 10 between them so I could always outsmart. Oh no, there's two. Then two is what I shall get. And there's two more down here. Come on, Espy, let's just all these loads here. I've got to take them all. I'm digging down, blocking myself in, and enjoying the fruits of my labor. Now let's actually get out of this cave. Here we are, back to the open skies. Next, I need three sand to smelt it in a furnace. And whilst I wait for that, guys, I am on a quest for four million subscribers. So if you're enjoying this video and you like my channel, then please, 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 could you subscribe? No more messing about for me. I'm going to craft a diamond potion. Now, what on earth? does this do? Am I just going to splash myself with it? Here we go. <laughs> it's not coming back. Wait, where did it go? Oh, it went so high. I was like, what? Whoa, there's diamonds everywhere. It's beautiful. What do these diamonds drop? They drop the speed diamond. I have no idea what the speed diamond does, but I am just going to mine up loads of it. You'd think it would make sense. Okay, you, apparently you can't make boots. No idea what I'm mining all this up for then. Unless, aha, I can make a speed diamond pickup. 
Do not right-click obsidian with this. If only there was some obsidian I could right-click. Well, let's see what this can do. Okay, I think it's faster, you know. Yeah, it's basically an efficiency pickaxe, and we need to find some obsidian to right-click to, to do what it tells us not to do. And I could once again go back into a cave, but I'm pretty sure I saw lava somewhere on my travels. So I'm going to see if I can find it. Here it is. Place down all the water. Now, what will happen when I right-click? You know what? I want more obsidian. I don't want any lava left. All right, this one piece can stay. So when I go ahead, go up to it, right Obsidian diamonds! Oh, this is amazing. And... I just burnt it. What am I doing? Not to worry, though, because there's plenty more where that came from. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. This is like printing money, which I would definitely never do, and, and don't let anyone try and tell you otherwise. Mining that has given me an obsidian diamond. Okay, my pickaxe is also broken. Can I mine with a normal iron pickaxe? Okay, I can mine it with this. Let's just do that, then. Don't really know how many I should be mining up. And it looks like if we get enough of these, we can make an obsidian shield. Or should I say an obsidian diamond shield? That sounds very useful indeed to me. So I've made that. I can put it in my offhand. Looks pretty good. The next question is, why don't I just make some normal diamond armor so that I don't get destroyed by all the mobs? And we can head off to try and test this shield out. So if I hold this... <laughs> what on earth? Where did you come from? I have to say, though, I love your outfit. And for one stick, you will give me a lucky diamond. Well, have two, mate. Don't mind if I... Do. Did he give me two? He only gave me one. Okay. And I have no idea what this lucky diamond actually does. Something tells me it might be useful to try and get... Another one. There you go, good sir. You're like a Mr. B6. As soon as you get the diamond traded, you disappear. I wonder what happens if a creeper blows up and I'm holding it. Oh, what? <laughs> it works. And you want a bit of gravel. Uh, well, I don't have any gravel. And for some reason, it's it's all of a sudden really rare in Minecraft. And you want a normal diamond for a look at that. What a scam. I don't think so, mate. You're getting spleef for that. You can come out when you learn to do reasonable trades. Makes way more sense to just to swim down here and get a bit of gravel. There you go, Mr. Reasonably Priced Villager. And I wonder, if I head to this village up here, smack the golem, and then hold my shield up. Oh yeah, that's right. You're one of them now, golem. I'm sure the golem always dreamed of being a villager, didn't he? And now he sadly ceases to exist. I should probably stop turning golems into villagers and work out what on earth I can do with these lucky diamonds. Ah, so apparently these are used for the lucky diamond sword. Now, I wonder what happens if I use this. Also, look at that. Sharpness 5 and lucky 5. I don't know what the lucky part means, but the sharpness 5 sounds pretty amazing. All right, pig, don't be scared. I'm just going to test this out on you. That's it. Don't look like that. Okay, well, it worked straight away. And how many pork chops? 23! I don't know how many I had before. Let me just clear some grass for you, sir. Okay, well, I got me six. That's pretty good. All right, villager, this won't hurt a bit. I'm just kidding. And now, if I wish to unlock the next custom diamond, I think I'm just going to have to get busy using this sword because... <laughs> There we go, after three of them, it has unlocked the next mysterious item. Looks very weird, doesn't it? What happens if I pick it up? Okay, it is a glitched fragment. Now then, what happens? Oh, if I put that with an iron, what do we get? We get a glitched diamond. Okay, let's just... Oh my goodness, that is... That's kind of cool. With this glitched diamond, we can make a glitched staff. I just need three more fragments, which means you guys are, are going to be on the menu. I'm sure they don't mind. It won't take long. At least I hope not, anyway. Oh, there we go. Number two. Sorry, but all mobs are on the menu. Just kidding. I wouldn't kill a baby. Even a Happy Kids TV nursery rhymes, baby. And there we have it. Fragment number three. Even fish weren't safe from being on the menu. Now to make some sticks and I can make the glitched staff. I am starting to look very well kitted out, although it's, um, it's a little crazy looking. What does the glitched staff do? Oh, it makes me teleport. Let me up there. <laughs> I want to teleport onto the tree. Come on, what's that all about? Oh, there we go. We got my wish. I want to teleport back down now. Can I do it infinitely? Can I, like, go, like, instantaneously ev everywhere? What about all the way over there? Come on. <laughs> whoa, whoa, where am I? Okay, I should probably slow down. What the heck? I just teleported to the top and got some sort of diamond. A space diamond. Okay. I don't really know what I did. I just kind of teleported up the hill and... Oh, hold on a second. I picked something... Oh, wait. What? Is it the sun that's the answer? I have no idea what's going on. Oh my goodness, where am I? What on earth is happening? I'm going to fall out. <laughs> but I got another space diamond. Looks like the answer is look at the sun and then right click and hope for the best. That has got me five altogether. Now, can I craft anything with these? Okay, space boots. Well, don't mind if I do. What happens if I put these on? Oh, they look pretty trim. I don't know what that's achieved for me, really, but yeah, I'll take it. I've absolutely no idea where I've ended up, by the way. I've gone, I've gone absolutely miles away from where I was. I wonder if I can now teleport back. I'll just go into this cave. It, it looks kind of cool. And you know what I said? I never miss an MLG. Well, now 
I never miss a teleportation MLG. Got like more diamonds, more peasant, just normal diamonds. Thought custom diamonds were the only way. Okay, this is what we want. See, all these custom diamonds are great, but without ender pearls, we, we can't do much against the dragon. So let's go ahead and quickly build a portal. And I'm about to be able to teleport around the nether, if, if I had a flint and steel anyway. Don't worry, there's always a plan B. Place a bit of lava, add some wood, and now we wait. Well, this bit of wood is set on fire. Come on, get the rest of it on. That is now lit, and I'm right next to a fortress. You know, there's only one thing I can do in this situation. Please don't go wrong, I'm gonna teleport that. Yes, it worked! I've got my teleportation stuff and my lucky sword. What could possibly go wrong? And hang on a minute, if a mob is just getting on my nerves, can I just block you? Yes, and you get turned into a villager. Yeah, how does that feel, eh? You like lucky diamonds, villager? Well, this is why I think of lucky diamonds, yeah. Peasants material. I'm just gonna get on with taking out the blaze as well instead of tormenting villagers. What the heck? I got seven from one? And you're gonna die now. I'm I'm very sorry. I'm just gonna give you a piece of cobblestone so that you can fulfill your purpose. Touch me and you're dead. That's it. That's right. <laughs> this is brilliant. All right, I've got more than enough blaze rods. Now I just need to try and find some endermen. This has to be the most easiest time I've ever had getting around a basalt delta. So far, mission to find a bastion isn't really going to plan. Can I go on that one little block? Oh, look at this. All right, we, we make a challenge here, guys. Spleef yourself. Look at that. Beautiful. One more little lonely block. <laughs> I landed on it. No problem. This staff is one of the greatest things ever. A mission to find a bastion has been successful. I should probably be a little bit careful because piglin brutes are, are kind of dangerous. And I think the sooner I can get some gold armor like that. Oh, look at this. Efficiency. Four. I'll take it. But yeah, getting some gold armor on is in my best interest. If I dig directly down here, we're in with a piglin brute. Exactly not what I wanted to hear. All right. We've got one chance to get this. How are you stuck? Okay. I'm out of it. <laughs> that was that was a little bit of a scary moment. Note to self, grab a few more blocks for safety. Oh man, I know exactly what I should do to these guys. Yeah, yeah, that's it. You want to go? That's right, mate. You're a villager. You want to go as well? Hold on, it's cooling down. All right, we're friends, me and you. No messing about with SP. <laughs> if you do, you just get turned into one of these guys. Now, let's carefully... Okay, apparently you take fall damage when you try to do something fancy like that. But note to self, don't try and do anything fancy. And instead, just get busy grabbing all the gold. Here you go, fellas. Go on, go on, trade that. Meanwhile, I'm going to steal even more of it. Look at that. I already see some pearls in there. Two so far. Nice. For that, you can be trusted with even more. Although after that, they completely let me down with their trades. There's not really any other gold blocks, so I'm just going to have to scavenge what I can. And since I am kind of a, a little bit evil, I'm going to attempt to find another brute. And then I can turn him into a village. Only just... Whoa. I, I'm a friend, mate. I have no idea how we got the first hit on me, but anyways, it's, it's harmless now. And rather than use a bastion for pearls, my best bet is probably to track down a warped forest. Since I have this amazing sword that will probably get me loads and loads of pearls per enderman. I think I see what I'm looking for. Yes, I do. All right, enderman, show yourself. And I've successfully found enderman number one. All right, brace yourself for impact. That's for stealing a block. How many pills? Oh, we got five. I don't know why I didn't just skip the bastion and do this earlier. Here we have Enderman number two. And because I'm under here, I'm, I'm kind of safe. And that's another... Oh, that's loads of pills. Is that... Oh, we're on max pills already. I get rid of the nether brick. Yeah, we've got 17. Let's get out of here. And I would get out of here, but I've only got eight obsidian. So that means I'm just going to search the land until I find a ruined portal. I'm sure I won't take that long since I can teleport. Although on my travels, I have stumbled across another bastion, which contains another of you guys. Get out of here. And possibly some obsidian. I'll just check this chest to find it. Well, not in there. What about this one through here? Oh, look at that. All the obsidian I need. Don't, don't be angry. I, I, I needed to do this. Shoot me one more time and I'm going to turn into a villager. All right, mate. You asked for it. Don't say I didn't warn you. I really do have infinite power, don't I? All this power and still no flint and steel. So wood will be used once again. Whilst I'm waiting, I can craft the eyes of Ender. Mission accomplished. Next, I'll get some sleep and stare at the sun to hopefully get more space diamonds. Seems to take a while, but if you just go like that, nothing happens. And then just wait. And look at that. I got another one. And looking at the crafting table, I can make full space armor <laughs> if I get all of the diamonds. wonder what the chest plate does. It just... Doesn't really seem to do anything. I think maybe I need all four pieces. So let's just keep going. Apparently just staring at the sun without teleporting is enough to just, just get diamonds. I could literally go and make a cup of tea and come back with a million diamonds. You know what? To prove a point, that's, that's what I'm going to do. And look at that. I have actually got nearly 100 diamonds. Well, I've got 67, but over a stack. And this cup of tea was definitely worth going to get. Now I just need to quickly make a brand new crafting table. And then let's craft the full armor and see what happens. And the helmet is the last thing to go on. You know, that's, that's a good look for me. The less of my face you can see, the better. Now, does it have any special powers? Can we double jump for it? Oh, it works like an elytra. Now then. Hey, this is this is cool. Show me the way, Ayavender. Oh, it's that way. I and mean, if I tower up a load of blocks, I can glide on my way. Yeah, this isn't this isn't really working. Oh, right clicking is a firework. Oh, 
Now we're away. I'm, I could go infinitely high. And the speed now. I really am a spaceman. Okay, let's, let's just try and avoid the trees. Where will the next eye point? Over that way. Apparently I have flown over the stronghold at some point. Got a little carried away there, didn't I? I reckon it might be somewhere around here. What do you reckon? Okay. Yeah, he's, he's right here somewhere. I'll just keep throwing eyes. I've got loads of them. I can I can waste them all. Oh, there we go. It's down here. Next we dig. Because it's 1.18, it could be a long, long way down. Although, I'm in. Okay, it wasn't actually that far down. Ah, here we are. I wish I had a custom diamond that would just tell me where the portal room is. Not to worry, though. I've never gained enough of these strongholds to know my way around it. Although, technically, every stronghold's different, so you can, you can never know your way around it. Mission to find it has now been successful. Let's break that. Oh, my goodness, a three eye. That's a great sea. See you later, old ones. Okay, do you mind? I'm going in. And I just fell. Well, I was going to say I fell right through. Well, I, I can jump off anyway. You, you want to Take away the obsidian platform. Do it. I've got this very broken bow, which I'm going to use to its full potential for as long as I can. And I don't know when this happened, but at some point, I have lost my teleportation staff. What's that all about? Now I just need to quickly make a brand new crafting table. And what happens if you punch these at point blank range? Okay, well, they don't do too much damage. Though I will be keeping it a little bit safe and, and using the old bow. You know, I, I don't want to die after all this time. I'll go then. One crazy punch won't hurt. Okay, it will hurt. I'm on half a heart. <laughs> Quick, eat the golden apple. And that is why I brought the bow. Is that all tower's gone? I think so. So let's start. Well, if we can actually reach it, let's start hitting the dragon. It's flung me in the air, but joke's on you. I can fly. I know, hang on a minute. What if I use my shield on the dragon? <laughs> Does it? I don't know what will happen. Well, let's get his health down really, really low and give it a go. If I can turn it into a villager, that will be the funniest thing ever. Just got to take aim. Yeah, that's the first time landing an arrow and it's on you. And I just realized I can populate the end with villagers. That's right. Go on. All right, less of that. Let's focus on getting rid of you. And now you are very, very weak. It doesn't really do that much damage to me. I just get a good air boost. The bow is almost broken, so I need to make these final shots count. Yep, there it goes. Wait, I think as it broke, I may have I may have turned the dragon into a village. Is it you? Have I, what have I done? Well, there's no dragon. I, I guess I have only one choice left. And that is to craft a brand new bow, shoot an arrow up into the air, and block it with my own shield. Ah. First of all, I need to find a village. And I need to find one before my hunger runs out. It's not a village, but this could be extremely useful. In fact, there's a village right behind it. Okay, this is very, very useful. I don't see any mobs about in here. Let's mine our way down. This is going to be a very boring process, but I have no other way to get down. The first chest... A bit of a letdown. The second chest, however, two golden apples. An emerald, which could be useful for that village. And more emeralds and string. I might as well take this TNT as well. And now it's on to the village. Which I believe is going to be my only way to get food. I've just realised another challenge as well. There is no wood anywhere <laughs> in this entire world. So I'm going to have to find a crafting table if I want to use one. And thankfully, this house does have one. Although I, I have no sticks. Unless I can take a dead bush. Oh, I can't place it. Wait, this sand. Wait, th yeah, but that is a way to get sticks. It didn't work, but that is a way to get sticks. I've also made some bread so we can get eating. And there's one more dead bush here. Don't let me down. Give me the sticks. Come on. Oh, are you kidding me? So you know what? I'm just going to steal your wheat, scam this villager by selling him his own produce, and then find another village. This village looks a lot bigger, but I never thought that dead bushes would be the most important thing to me. And there's one in here. Let's grab that, put it on the sand. We finally got sticks, which means I can make an iron pickaxe, mine some of these diamonds, craft some armor because, you know, safety first. And now I can suit up. I'm looking very, very OP indeed. And I'm, I'm afraid, Mr. Gollum, <laughs> I need more iron. Because I don't have a weapon, I'm going to have to use a pickaxe, which means it's taking me forever. He gave me three iron. I can at least make one bucket. And there's another dead bush down here. Look at this. He gave me another stick. Now that I've stopped being blind, I've realized there's actually dead bushes everywhere. Let's break both of these. Two more sticks. That means diamond sword and diamond axe. We are looking very, very good indeed. I'm also going to steal some of their items. I mean, wheat, thanks. I guess it's kind of good. And day one has been very, very successful. Will this Fletcher sell arrows? He will. I think we buy those now because I don't know when I'll next get a chance to buy some. And here, yeah, have more wheat. Yeah, it's it's completely original. Oh my goodness. Wait, why is there a dead animal here? What on earth? How did he die? And there's wool. I didn't think we'd be able to get wool. And now this sheep's wandering off. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, sorry, farmer. I've let you sheep. But here, have some, some of the mutton. I, I don't need it. And so the quest for sticks continues. also feel like I kind of blend into the floor. Another temple. We need a notch apple. We've surely got to find one in this video. There's a few things in here, eh? Well, <laughs> you met the wrong guy. Oh, an enderman. I can actually use him. Can't use a boat, so I'm gonna have to do it, you know, the, the way that Minecraft intended for you to take out enderman. Did we get a pearl? No, we didn't. Let's dig down here. I'd like more iron, I think. More TNT may come in handy. Okay, we got diamonds. <laughs> Why? Why am I, like, happy to find diamonds? There's diamonds everywhere. More golden apples and iron, though. That is a lot more useful. We did it! Wait, we got a notch apple. 
<laughs> I didn't think we'd get one this fast. Don't mind if I do. This was an extremely good temple. And this is something quite rare. Stone. I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for, but let's grab some just in case. Look at that. We got the Stone Age enchantment. <laughs> Full diamond armor before the Stone Age enchantment. At this point, is there even any point visiting more temples? Instead, I might as well craft a couple of buckets. Grab a bit of water and also a bucket of lava. And coal, that's actually super rare. I know rare items when I see them. And diamond blocks aren't one. Oh, hold on a second. Let's get rid of this. Wait, I've got to do this carefully here. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Perfect. And I must know, where are all the villages? I need more sticks. I'm actually getting sick to death of seeing desert temples. Okay, maybe I'm not sick to death of desert temples. What are the chances? A channeling book? And a channeling book. I really want to mine more obsidian, but until I get sticks, I can't do that. There's a temple number 1758. Oh no, I didn't sleep in time, and now... Oh, there's just monsters everywhere. Actually, that's the way to get sticks. I could just keep taking out witches, and they sometimes drop them. Finally. Finally a village. And is it true? The legendary dead bush. I'm telling you, if this doesn't drop sticks, I am not going to be happy. It drops... Thank goodness for that. Now I can make a diamond pickaxe. There's a couple more here. Surely these will drop. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. I'm just out here farming sticks. Okay, we've got a lot. You know what? This is it. This is this is it. It's not, it's not letting me down now. Let's make a bow, a shovel. We have grass blocks. I wonder why animals didn't spawn here. Probably because we are technically in a desert. <laughs> animals don't spawn in deserts. I think it'd be a good idea to grab a bit more food and then craft a furnace. Smelt some stone in the furnace. And then I can craft a blast furnace. Collect more emeralds. And I also need iron. And I never thought I'd say this, but I'm going to go search for more desert temples. Aha, there's one up ahead. Also, gravel could be useful. That's actually quite rare. And at these temples, I can get more iron. That's where I've just been, and that's where we're going. I hear mobs in this one. I think, is that a village up here as well? Okay, this is a proper ambush. I need to deal with this carefully. Get rid of that creeper. Don't blow up because you'll end up setting off all the TNT or something. Don't. We're all right. Okay. Now getting rid of you is a piece of cake. Let's drop on down here. And thankfully we did get more iron. And I think I'm ready to check out this village. All right, Gollum, you're first on my list. Now, would anybody like to be an armorer? If you would, just step right this way. You, sir. Okay. You are going to be uh, having a great day. First, I need to buy loads of iron leggings. This is going to be very expensive. Especially since I have no use for them. Thankfully there's hay bales everywhere because I need more emeralds. And books. Oh, I didn't think I'd be able to find books. This now, this is a game changer. If I need to, I can now make an enchantment table, which is going to be handy, but I'm planning on getting enchantments a better way. More emeralds from you, thank you very much. I'll upgrade you a little bit more. And now it's time to become a farmer. Here you go, sir. More wheat. Let's get rid of all of these barrels. Apparently there's still some left. <laughs> Let's just make a new fisherman. You, you can be one. And he will buy string off me. Very useful. And also left loads of bones and string down here. Guys, if you like cats, don't watch this. It's just another great way to get string. I'm just kidding. I'm not that desperate for emeralds. Guy just looks like he's contemplating life. What? What are you looking? That's it. You snap out of it. Buy another one. Let's do a bit more planting. A little more trading. And now I'm tired of trading, so I'm going looking for another village. Here we have more wheat, more books, more iron, and more emeralds. I realize with a higher end of distance, I can see way more villages. Man, higher end of distance suddenly makes this easy mode. I can see him from miles away. Oh my goodness. You have just sealed your fate. I'm sorry, skeleton. I mean, this is a waste of a temple, but <laughs> it's kind of funny at the same time. Temple over there. Village over there, and another village over there. With a mending book? Oh my goodness, they are so rare. But sadly, no iron. I know where I can get iron though, and that is from you. 45 hay bales, surely that's enough. Also, this is an extremely rare building, and it always has really good loot. And, and you're a cleric. Oh, I can, I can use you. Can I sell you... Yeah, yeah, I have a bit of rotten flesh, mate. And if I upgrade him just enough, there we go, he will now buy my gold off me, and I can get some lapis if I want... Do I want to do enchant it? No, you know what? I'm not going to do any enchanting. It'd be stupid not to take some lapis while I have the chance, though. Let's just take nine pieces. There we go. And bring the brewing stand with me. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Well, Mr. Farmer, have I got good news for you? Lots and lots of wheat. We have 32 emeralds. I'm hoping this is going to see me through. Oh, my goodness. This is on the way back. Look how much wheat. It's basically free money. It's a shame I can't use a hoe for all of this. But right now, we're on 1.15. I'll explain why later. I've got nearly three stacks. <laughs> this better be enough. Looks like this temple is literally part of the village. Look at this. Three enchanted books. Depth Strider 3. That's very nice. More iron and emeralds and aqua affinity hope you don't mind i'm just gonna steal a few more books let's get you a bit more hay and at long last my plan is ready for action see now i can buy chain boots for just one emerald what use do i have for them not a lot but it's what he upgrades to that matters he didn't do the trade i wanted but i can still use him you know what this armor's useless yeah you've just been useless to me you know i'm just not happy with you 
You didn't do the trade I wanted. It's the end of you. Hopefully this villager won't make the same mistake. First we buy a load of helmets. Then we give him loads of iron. And then <laughs> we exploit him by selling him diamonds. It's worked. And don't worry guys. We have got a lot of diamonds that we can sell. And we have a blacksmith. Anything useful? All right, this chest just refuses to open. Oh, there we go. Fine. Oh, obsidian. And oak saplings. Wait, that is actually useful. I don't have enough space. So let's go and uh, just give him a load of free diamonds. I get rid of all these crops. So sorry, farmer. Sorry, I've got wheat. No, you want carrots. That's it. I don't feel sorry. We place down a sapling. Craft bone meal. Bone meal the tree. Come on. It's got to work. We've got wood. <laughs> he doesn't look too happy, does he? Let's give this guy a load more diamonds. And if I pick up this grindstone, give it to one of these villagers, I can then upgrade them a little bit. Although he wants Flint to upgrade to the next level. And <laughs> there's not much gravel in this world. So I'm just going to keep scamming this guy with diamonds. And now I can buy some enchanted diamond armor. Not a bad little upgrade. Let's keep collecting wood, mining wheat, selling it to the poor villagers. And I've just noticed this building over here. We know this is a good one. Well, it's got bread. And you know what? Bread is a great thing. Not to mention another brewing stand. Let's just use up these saplings. Take this grindstone, and I think it's about time that I headed to the nether. This looks like as good a place as any to build a portal. And of course, the fastest way is just going to be to do it like this. And then to light it, thankfully I found this gravel earlier. Got some flint, let's make some flint and steel. Light the portal, get some sleep. And I also want to use this chance to get more obsidian. I forgot how slow a normal diamond pickaxe is. And now I can craft an enchantment table, a bunch of planks, which I can turn into bookcases. And 18 is the perfect amount. Now let's head to the nether. Also, as I said earlier, we are in a 1.15 world, and that's because Super flats are bugged in 1.16 and later where you don't get stronghold spawning. And to beat the game, we, we need a stronghold. And whilst I'm in the nether, getting nether quartz is going to be the fastest way to get loads of XP. So that very soon we can have some very powerful armor. I've reached a grand total of 41 levels and in the distance I have spotted a fortress. So I'm going to grab a little bit more quartz on the way so that I can then get to level 42. And now let's get those blaze rods. Without falling in lava, of course. Any iron that I find here is also going to be very useful since iron is pretty rare. Blaze has been spotted. In fact, two. I'm thinking it makes sense to eat the notch apple now, and now I have fire resistance. And that makes you guys completely useless. It's kind of crazy that Blaze go from being one of the hardest mobs to the easiest mobs when you have fire resistance. I don't really need those diamonds. <laughs> I'm in a diamond block world. Since I don't have looting, there's really no point me really going for wither skulls. This would be my best way to get coal, but <laughs> I don't really need coal. Oh dear. That skeleton, you, you picked a fight with the wrong guys. Wait, are they attacking me now? Are you really angry? Why? I didn't do anything. It was the skeleton. Why are you angry at me? I haven't even found the spawn run already. I've got four blaze rods. And there it is. And I think 13 blaze rods should be enough, which is just as well since my fire resistance has run out. Let's build our way up and out of here. And this nether brick is now coming in useful. I have to be careful I don't fall in any lava, because if I do, I won't have my notch apple to save me. Although 11 golden apples, <laughs> they might get me out of trouble. I feel like now I'm on 43 levels, I should aim for 45. And that is 45 levels. Perfect. And here is my portal. Let's head on through. And I think it's now time I've focused on the ender pearls. Which means selling a lot of diamonds to you, good sir. Was that your a fisherman? Well, not for long, you ain't. As soon as you wake up, you'll be a clerk. In fact, I'm just going to get into your bed. It's also very useful that I can buy more lapis. Let's also get more iron, give you more wheat, and then sell you more diamonds. And that means I can now unlock the pearl trade. And he's offering me glass bottles, you stupid villager. We know what happens to villagers who double cross me like that. I don't know where you're wandering off to, but you can be my new cleric. I'll be back when I can afford more. Thankfully, this desert temple has more emeralds and some iron and gold as well. Decided TNT isn't actually that useful. Although it could be a good way to get a lot of diamond blocks. Let's see what happens. I'm just going to light them all and set up a massive chip. I better get out of this uh, firing range, I just realized. <laughs> Not the best place to be in, is it? Yeah, look, it's, it's a nice little chain reaction. And I tell you what, we're getting quite a few diamond blocks. Turns out nearly three stacks of them. Hello, dear cleric. I've come with more gifts. Why do I feel like you've somehow got yourself trapped? Come on, mate. Out you come. That's it. Go and join the others. I feel bad for this guy making him walk so far away to go to work. Glad to say this guy's selling me ender pearls. Like the old saying goes, if you see a golem, take him out. What do we have here? A Fletcher. Here, just, just take all my wood. I really hope I don't need that later. Look at all the bread here and lapis. They're all going to come in handy. Free emeralds. Don't mind if I do. Thanks for the extra ender pearls. You can have more diamonds. We really have got a proper economy going. I've decided to leave that village behind and instead make my eyes of ender. See which way we need to go that way because I've just realized that once it goes dark it's going to be extremely easy to find Enderman. Didn't really mean to make him angry let's just get him in the boat and we didn't get a pearl. Two more have been spotted and they're both very nicely sitting in the boat <laughs> but still no Ender pearl. My calculations are right the stronghold is somewhere around that village. Oh my goodness there's four of you guys? Will you all just leave me alone? I accidentally burnt the boat. I'm sorry Enderman this is this is not good. Get out of the lava. Yeah that's right. Let's just uh Let's just put you, let's put you down now. Come on. He's died. A mob drops off or something. Can't get an ender pill to save me life. Finally. There's another one. And that gives me 12 in total. Okay, that's another one. If this guy drops, I'm one, well and truly sorted. 
We still got a lot though. This eye's pointing over there. According to my calculations, I should dig down right here. But first, I think I should get some more iron and finally do some enchanting, which means setting up this little area. First of all, my sword, sharpness four. I'm very happy with that. Efficiency four on my pickaxe, power three. <laughs> That's pretty rubbish. Let's also do some grindstoning. And now the enchantments can just be a bit better. Look at that. Almost full prop four. It's either prop four or prop three. And if I get four more iron, I can make an anvil. Let's also grab some beds. Since I think I can probably go for the one cycle. I've only got five, but you know what? If I can't do it in five beds, I don't deserve to do it. And down we go. And look at that. Straight into the stronghold. Beautiful. If I could find a little bit more iron down here, that would be perfect. Already I found the portal room. Do we just forget the anvil and go for it? It might be worth it. Let's put in the eyes. We just need a couple more. There we go go. I also need to remember to get some obsidian. And now I have an efficiency four pickaxes way faster. And these two chests here. This one has gold. If this has four iron in, it will be amazing. But I'm, <laughs> I'm not getting my hopes up. No. Although another ender pearl. Yeah, that's, that's all right. So that means these books are pretty useless. Well, mending. Goodbye, old friend. <laughs> It will be missed. But let's take down the dragon. Might as well start by ender pearl. Oh, right. I ain't hit a bridge. That's a peasant's job. Let's come over here and place some obsidian. And now I'm going to begin towering up with diamond blocks. I don't think I've ever done this before in the end. Oh, no. I forgot the hitbox is on 1.15. A completely bug. Look. It's glitched and it's up there. And he's already perching. He just did a really weird perch. So it's instead time for plan B where we take them out the old-fashioned way. Is he going to come up here? You really think that's a good idea, dragon? Here's what we do. Okay. We shoot this tower. We ender pearl down. Oh, look at that. You just can't teach that. Thankfully, shooting towers is it's kind of my speciality. Just got to shoot this caged one. There we go. And this right here is the final tower. Perfect. I tell you what, this power three bow is doing doing a good job, actually. We're going to go for a bit of a, a one cycle. Oh, well, that didn't work. <laughs> Let's just do it the old fashioned way. Right, this time, I'm, I'm going to make something happen. It's not going to be perfect, but... Oh, look at this. It is, it's going to happen here. Look at that. We managed to use a bit of a... A mixture of everything there. The first method to finding diamonds is by going caving. Just go down to level 12 where there's lava, bring a water bucket, and if you get lucky, you might find some diamonds. But if that's not going so well, then your next option is dive mining. Just craft yourself a trap door, place it above where you want to mine, and then you will go into a crawling state and you can go mining like this. And the reason dive mining is better than strip mining is because one block reveals five new ones. It's also worth remembering that if you have a netherite or diamond pickaxe with efficiency on it, regular strip mining is better. And that is because the player crawls too slowly to be able to keep up with the faster pickaxes. And I forgot to say, you can also use a water bucket to go dive mining. Just go like that and then you're away. And if you really want to take strip mining to the next level, then go to a cave that's about level 55 and then build a full beacon. Use the beacon to give yourself haste too and then dig down until you get to level 11. And now thanks to the haste, you can strip mine so, so fast. And once you mine 50 blocks away from the center of the beacon, you can just go across a few blocks like this and strip mine the other way. And with this method, you can get about a stack of diamonds per hour. But for me, that's that's still just too slow. If you prefer to, you can find diamonds just by exploring. They can be found in shipwrecks, mine shafts, desert temples, jungle temples, blacksmith chests, stronghold chests, in fortresses, at treasure bastions, end cities, and finally through buried treasure. If you want to find diamonds through exploration early game, then this is the method you should use. You should follow the map until you reach where the X is, and then go to 9-9 in the chunk, which is right here. Just dig straight down, you'll find it, and you'll find diamonds. But what if you prefer to not go exploring and to not go caving for your diamonds? Well, just craft yourself an iron axe and spend 10 minutes mining up trees. And once you've got yourself 10 stacks, go ahead and get a load of flint get yourself five pieces of iron and also a little bit of extra wood make yourself a bunch of fletching tables a blast furnace and track down a village then turn all your wood into sticks and turn it into emeralds once you've done that you'll have two and a half stacks of emeralds so place down the blast furnace and keep trading with this guy until you fully upgrade him then when he gets to expert level you can buy leggings and boots and then buy a few more of these cheap helmets and at master level you've got a diamond helmet and diamond chest plate that's basically getting 24 diamonds just for punching trees and now for the mathematical methods. These four ways are so overpowered that I'm not even sure that Mo Yang themselves know about these. And the first one is by using lapis. Now, what do you see when you see some lapis? You think, oh, that's nice. I'll mine it up and add it to my collection. When in reality, you already have millions of them back home. No, what you should actually think when you find lapis is, oh, cool, I've, I've found some diamonds. Because if from the lapis, you go negative four on the Z axis, which is right here, and then dig directly down, you will without a doubt come to diamonds. There you go. When I say without a doubt, it works about nine out of 10 times. Sometimes lava can override it and sometimes dirt can. But yeah, anytime you find lapis, just go four blocks this way. And as you dig down, you will come to diamonds. And now for the third fastest method, which uses gravel 
and clay. By using this method, you can get over 180 diamonds per hour. Press F3G to turn on your trunk borders. That'll make it easier. Next, you need to find a gravel patch that's in a circular shape like this one. And from the center, go four blocks on the negative Z, which is right here. And then just dig straight down. And at the bottom, you will come to diamonds. And if you find a clay patch that isn't in a swamp, you need to go negative two. But you can see from the center here, we're going across a chunk border. So instead, you go to the other side of the chunk, which means instead we need to dig down right here. And there you go, you've got diamonds at the bottom. And the third biome you can use this is in a swamp biome. And this is where there's the most clay, so it's easiest to find loads of diamonds. Come to the center of a clay patch, go two in the positive Z direction, and dig straight down. I will also write down all of these numbers down below in the description because they can be quite hard to remember. But there we go. We got the diamonds. Now, the thing, the problem with this method is that it's quite slow in getting back up. Look, I've just got to tower my way back up. How can we make that way, way faster? Well, we can do that by using one very, very clever trick. And I'll tell you that trick in 10 seconds. But first, really, really quickly, I'm running a giveaway on my channel of $1,000 to anyone that subscribes in the next 10 days. So if you're new, make sure that you subscribe or get one of your friends to subscribe instead. And now for the trick to speed things up a lot. First, you're gonna need to get yourself some flint and also some iron. Then craft yourself some flint and steel and mine up some wood. Then you can turn all of that into blanks. And this time, whenever you start digging down to collect some diamonds, place the wood above your head, light it with some flint and steel, and then keep digging down. And once that piece of wood burns up, the water will float down then allowing you very quickly to swim back up to the top. That allows you to go from 180 diamonds per hour to 250. And that is a lot better, but what if you want a full beacon or a diamond block house on? 10,000 hoes. Well, in order to do that, we're gonna need a few upgrades. A helmet with aqua affinity and respiration three and elytra and some depth strider boots. And also a stack of firework rockets, an efficiency five shovel and an efficiency five fortune three pickaxe. Now just go to your clay patch, go two across in the positive Z direction and dig straight down. Thanks to the aqua affinity and the respiration three, the water is not slowing us down. Then when you get to the bottom, you'll get your diamonds. Just go ahead and mine all of them up. The fortune three meant we got 16 diamonds from eight ores. And then when you go back up, activate your elytra and you can fly really, really fast. And then you can see the next clay patch very easily. And then you can just rinse and repeat and basically find diamonds every single minute. And if you don't want to use a light tree, you can just swim straight up. It's quite fast. It takes eight seconds to get to the top by swimming and three seconds with your elytra. And as I said, if you keep doing this over and over again, you can get 895 diamonds per hour. And that's exactly how I managed to get a full diamond beacon in my hardcore world.